Welcome back to another episode of Collection Wars, guys. Thank you for joining us. We have a very, very, very fun episode for you tonight. What's going on, Michael? How you doing? Gabe, what's going on, man? I'm doing really good. I'm excited about tonight, you know, having my brother come on. It's been a little while. I'm glad to have him on the show. Yeah, man. And yeah. this is this is gonna be right up your alley. And it's yeah. oh you every <laughs> time you make fun of me for geeking out sometimes oh, yeah. and fanboying, I finally get to see you in that same yeah, it's <laughs> same it's much BS because I'm trying to be as professional as I can, but you know. <laughs> yeah. Well we'll <laughs> we'll see how how giddy you get uh while we go this because today we have the pleasure of having Mr. Jason Eaton on our show, uh, yeah. coming to talk some studio scale stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. Yeah, he, he's uh, he's well well renowned in the the industry for studio scale, and it's good because of people like him that's keeping this industry alive. You know, absolutely, absolutely. Well, let's bring him on. Come on, my brother. Jason, what's hey. up, Jason? <laughs> How you guys doing? That that okay. intro that intro was a little much. I'm like, uh, are they talking about me? Because I'm just this guy making these stuff in the house. <laughs> You're a little underdressed, son. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I should have no, worn my, my I should have worn my dress uh, shirt instead. I'm wearing yeah. my snaggle tooth. You know. There you yeah, go. Or, you that. Yeah, you, when you were on the Star Wars show, you were wearing a tie and a. Uh, I was I was very dressed up. Yeah, I haven't <laughs> worn. I, I, when I when I, uh, I went and visited friends and I told them that this was the first time I'd worn pants that that had a button and a zipper <laughs> straight for like four days. It was like the first time in like a year and a half that that had happened. Like yeah. is everything's just like, you know, pajama pants or sweatpants or whatever. I'm like, I gave up, <laughs> you know, like a year ago. It's fine. You're so, right. yeah. Well, yeah. man, well, thanks for taking well, no. the time for sure to be on the show, Jason. Yeah, total honor. Thank, thank yeah. you for having me. <laughs> yeah, man. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you so much, Jason. Um, so, I mean, first and foremost, Jason, every single time we have someone on the show, we always like to kind of start off by, you know, ask him, because look, our show is all about the nostalgia, right? We, we love kind of what these things bring us back to, right? Our childhood, yeah. that feeling, you know, that we had when we were kids watching these, these movies. Yeah. Um, what, what got you into, to Star Wars and your passion for Star Wars? I, so um, the, the, I, I probably have said this before, but it's the truth. So I'll just say it again. Um, when I was, I was four years old when it first came out, didn't go see it. My parents went and saw it when it was re-released in 78, I was five. Uh, living in Annapolis, Maryland, which at the time was a sort of a sleepy boating town. And uh, we went to the local theater, which was on uh, State Circle. So it was like this little colonial theater, you know, like very small, very uh, modest kind of place. And uh, what I remember from, the, I, I have a vague disjointed memory of seeing the film and thinking that the stormtroopers were robots, but it was like, you know, like I got it, but I didn't because I was five. Um, however, crystal clear memory of going to the toy store afterwards because my my mom knew what was up, and she said you can you can buy the land speeder and four figures and uh, and I it, like vividly remember Luke Ben and the droids because that's what was in the speeder, <laughs> which I'm like now that I think back on that that's like that was the beginning of my like well it has to be accurate to what I saw on the screen you know kind of thing. <laughs> yeah <laughs> which is sick for a yeah. five year old. Um, you know, but I, I think that was the mindset, like, well, ooh, mm -hmm. they go together. Um, yeah. And then it was just literal, the shared collective childhood that we all had, uh, you know, just getting the toys, participating in the the, the role play on the playground. Um, I built model. Yeah, I built models as a kid. Um, and as a kid, you know, like it, it kind of taught me patience, but I also blew a lot of them up with firecrackers, like all, you know, like, <laughs> boys will do um and uh and again it's it's like such a like sort of like line to say it but at some point i grew out of it and i started trying to figure out girls and guitars and i was not very good at either of those you know ha -ha. <laughs> and then i think it was uh the timothy zahn books sort of like rekindled my friends and i's like Met, like we love Star Wars, and, but it went into hibernation. It's not like I hated it or anything. And I wasn't into sports. I was a very arty kid. So mm -hmm. I had different pursuits from everybody else anyway. 
Um, yeah. And when Star Wars sort of resurged with the books and then like the model kits came out right before the Power of the Force toys in 95, if I'm remembering mm -hmm. correctly, like the Galoob toys and there were those bendy ones. I bought yeah. them because I was like, oh my God, new Star Wars stuff. Like, and that was, I mean, I was in my early twenties, but it was still like totally feeding that five-year-old that was still in there. Yeah. Um, and I, and that was the first attempt to like kind of build the models a little better than mm. what I had been doing. And then I found, it's funny. I found the proto RPF when it was on the AOL boards in maybe 96 mm. or so and didn't realize it. I have a, like a vague fractured memory of, um, somebody piecing together like the, the Stormtrooper blaster. They're like, it was a Sterling. And I'm like, oh shit, the internet is powerful because people are like starting to like piece together mm -hmm. what was made. And it sort of fell away a little bit, um, but I was still building the models and buying the toys. And then I found the RPF in 98, 99 and lurked for a while because it was very, mm -hmm. it was very Wild West and cutthroat. Like people yeah. were very good to like just burn the ground. And I was like, Jesus, like, and eventually I, I sort of, Jo like join the stream of people um and, and and you know you think about it it's like tom spino was a guy there just like everybody else you know like mm -hmm. some of these guys have really sort of built uh their careers like from that primordial soup <laughs> that was yeah. that initial message board stuff like uh, brandon mm -hmm. allinger he was funny enough he was local at the time and it was you know pretty young but like had that eye of the tiger for that kind of stuff and then uh i was building i uh, still building models just as a fan and then uh, Steve Dimzo from Master Replicas came calling and was like, hey, would you build me like models for me personally because I'm busy and you're good? And I was like, uh, yeah, like I was flattered. And, and then one day he calls me in a bind and he's like, can you ruin your 4th of July holiday weekend and paint the at at paint master? And I thought I'd made it. You know, I was like, oh, my God, I get to make something legit, <laughs> you know, for Star Wars. He's like, we'll 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 send you an ad at this payment and i was like golly you know like amazing and that was sort of just the the beginning of like this weird ramp up and there's been yeah. dips and, and peaks and stuff but yeah. uh yeah over time uh it's sort of distilled into this like laser focused i want to preserve the craft or mm -hmm. the, the 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 output that ilm did if possible like not you know like i want to help do that like, cause yeah. some of the stuff is gonna is gonna be lost to history if we don't like grab That's it right. and, mm -hmm. and lock it down. Yeah, so, Jason, what do you think about with with everything? It's crazy because there's so many people, as you know. I've been in the last couple of years hitting it pretty hard on the studio skill side of the collecting side, and I've got you know people like Mike and you know you just people out there that are commissioning these beautiful pieces and it's such a hard thing to get into it's so there's it's, so much knowledge that you need yeah. before you even break into it you know yeah i i it's funny because i remember being really green like i got into the prop side before the model side because frankly the studio scale guys seemed really intense and really mm -hmm. protective and i get it like um and to this day there's guys that will not tell you anything because You're they're right. like if i tell mm -hmm. you the id then the price is going to go up on ebay and i'm like totally yeah. get it but I remember being really green and like sort of feeling my way around like I was blind. And whenever somebody like was like, it's the Flak 88 or whatever, you know, gave me a little bit morsel. Um, that was huge. And and like so when somebody like I, I some people think I'm like a like elder statesman with this shit now. And and, and I, I still feel like I'm just a guy making stuff. But I do have mm -hmm. like 20 years of knowledge of this crap now, which is sort of insane. So when somebody comes to me and they're like, hey, what did you use? I'm either going to tell them or I legitimately don't remember. And they and half the time they think I'm like just giving them a line. But there, there's like there's guys that are really good at IDing parts mm -hmm. and retaining that. And then there's guys like me that like I'm gonna build it and then uh, and then it goes right out my head once I'm done, which is not the greatest. But I, I just will never forget the help I got when I was totally new. And if I can ever help anybody, I'm always happy to. And if I don't get back to you, like wh whoever you are, like in 24 hours, it's only because I'm like super crazy busy. But like I make it a point to try to ease if someone's earnest about it and they're like legitimately like excited. I want to I want to make sure that they aren't so discouraged because you're right it's just it's expensive it's, mm -hmm. it's intense it's very uh like competitive 
And mm. like, and over the years, I've gotten really relaxed about a lot of stuff that that yeah. some people, you know, are very still hardline about. Like, if mm. I don't get every piece correct, it's not the end of the world, you know, which is heresy to some guys. But it was a, that's that's good. That's yeah, good. I mean, but like so. I, there's a guy that will build a, a model and he never finishes it because he doesn't have those last two IDs. Just, dude, just finish the model. Like, f get something close because I, I I have the luxury of knowing some of these original ILMers and they they didn't care at the time. And I'm like, yeah. over time when you're talking to them and they're like, they're amazed and freaked out a little bit sometimes. They're like, wait, you guys know everything? And we're like, yeah. You know, and they're like, we know, know more than you do. <laughs> you know, right? But like when you realize they didn't like put the weight and importance of every single little bit, they the, the, you start looking at the overall design and then you're like, all right, I can relax a little bit, you know? So yeah, these guys had George Lucas coming in in two days. They were just, you know, trying to get this thing put together. You know, yeah, I have the luxury of building something and like it takes however long it takes. And they're like, we got to get this on the filming stage in like, you know, 24 hours. So yeah, yeah it's yeah. a totally different mindset. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. yeah. So now, Jason, besides obviously, besides, you know, studio scale and stuff like that, you mentioned you, you know, you worked with some prop companies, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Master Replicas. Um, I know you've also worked with some other licensies, uh, like uh, Sideshow Collectibles. Mm -hmm. I know you worked on that little probe droid that I have right there, right? Yeah. 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 Is, is um, it the one? That's the, yeah, the 160. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, that was super fun. Yeah, yeah. I love it. It's, it's definitely yeah. one of my favorite pieces. Um, yeah. But I was, I was going to ask you, so as a Star Wars fan, obviously, since, since, a child, what did it feel like knowing, or when you got that call to say, Hey, we need you to go to the, to the ranch. <laughs> and yeah, it was, it was out of body. It really was. So the first time they're like, <laughs> and, and it was a phone call that was like, all right, I know you're going to have to be professional about this. And I was like, I can do this. All right. <laughs> like, like, yes. Like, I, I swear to you, I'm not going to lose my mind and embarrass you kind of thing. <laughs> and, 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 um, but yeah, I got, I got, a, I got the call. Literally it was a phone call and he was just like, um, so you're going to have to buy your own plane ticket, but we'll put you up in the, 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 the suite that we reserve for contractors, but we're going to need you to go to the ranch for like, you know, two or like a day where you, it's like a two or three day trip. And we need to, to reference X, Y, and Z. And I, like, at that point, I went into a fugue state and like lifted out of my body. And, you know, like, it was like, wait, what? And, yeah. um, and it's funny, I had been working uh, as a, I was like the video art director for an ad agency at the time. And the boss was a little irritated that I was taking the time off. And that was right around the time that I was offered a job that with a little less pay, uh, but for the NIH, which is where I still am to this day, but mm -hmm. the boss was like, if you want to take paid, you know, if you want to take time off and you don't have PTO, it just, you're, it's unpaid. As long as you get your work done, I don't care. And I was like, hire me, you know? So that allowed me to like take all this <laughs> weird trips. Like, I'm like, I'll take less pay to go touch a stormtrooper helmet, you know, whatever. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was, <laughs> and, and I do, I, I really do remember that first time. Cause like you, you walk in, you go up these stairs and then none of it looks exciting. And, you know, it's like a, like a loading dock and then the bay door opens and you're like, Poof. it's just, okay, we're talking the archives. Yeah. yeah, archives. yeah. And everything, everything's back there. And internally I am like the 14 year old girl at the airport at the chain link fence <laughs> when the beaches land and I'm going like you know, crying and screaming, but externally I'm like, all right, we're here to see the, blah, blah, you know, and I have to like, I always said it was like I was playing a role of professional reference guy, but in, mm. inside I was goo. I was absolutely, oh. yeah. How could you not be? Yeah. Like, the thing that kills me is that I know so much more about the models now than I did then. And I could have solved so many of our like mysteries that we have to this day if I yeah. had just looked, if I had just moved the camera and done that instead of that, you know, like, yeah. yeah. It's pretty crazy, like to yeah. think how like nuanced some of the the sequence of events yeah. were. Yeah. Now, how much? And this is just kind of I've always wondered about that. You know, when you go into the archives, like how much kind of freedom do you have in there to like? No, touch no, they're, 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 no they're they're all they're all professional. And it's all business. Um, I mean, mm -hmm. it used to be a little like loosey goosey in the '90s, maybe, but mm -hmm. I mean, we weren't given like I I didn't run around like 
running my hands down the aisle. <laughs> touching everything. I mean, like I, we stayed in place and they brought things to us that we, we, gotcha. we requested, but I mean, we could pretty much ask for anything that we were justifying, you know, as like a product or a potential product. Um, and you know, they would bring it out and, um, and what's really fascinating about that too is that I did have enough knowledge. A couple of times they brought things out and they're like, here's the thing. And I'm like, no, that's from this. And they're like, no, this is this. And then I would like have my reference books with me. Like yeah. I got pretty smart pretty fast about that stuff. If I could prove what I was saying, they would immediately be like, cool. But at the time, I don't think things were so deeply right. referenced and stuff. Yeah. Um, but I, I was back there relatively recently and it's, I mean, it's switched to like museum mode now. So yeah, um, yeah it's, it's way different, but, yeah. uh, but the good news is everything's being looked after. Yeah. Like, like by the best in the world, you know, like, so it's, it's pretty yeah. amazing. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Yeah. That's, that's one of those things. Yeah. Cause you know, we all grew up seeing that picture of, George Lucas in the middle of like around all of this stuff. And it's just like, yeah. we're watching from Star Wars to Jedi and, you know, it's seeing all these like concept pieces and yeah. it's just crazy. Yeah. Yeah. To be in, to be in the, the room, you know, it's a big room, but to be in the room with all that stuff and to see it, you know, it's, it's, um, it's pretty trippy. That's yeah. awesome, man. That's yeah. Great. Yeah. <laughs> and you're there, you're there as a professional to do work and you're like, it's just such an honor to like know that like whatever you're doing is furthering the cause like for the guys you know for the peeps kind of thing yeah. it's like you know I'm, i i have a so solemn duty to do my best so that we get the <laughs> best thing out there and i gotta say like to everyone's credit every step of the way everyone was always like this is in service to putting out the best we could possibly do yeah. and if mm -hmm. anything was ever inaccurate or whatever it was mm -hmm. like hap it was accidental incidental whatever yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome, man. The, the internet will immediately crucify you if you do something even slightly wrong. <laughs> but yeah. that's the internet, you know. Yeah, and, yeah. I'm not. Okay. I'm not omniscient. I don't know everything. I'm just trying my best. <laughs> yeah. And and hey, Jason, besides Star Wars, what other franchises are you kind of a big Nothing. fan? Of? Um, <laughs> just just Star Wars. Big Trouble in Little China. I'm I love a, that I'm one. A fan of that. Um, <laughs> In my old age, I'm really into Jaws. I have a Jaws barrel, and I have an Orca, and it's just like the like I love those right. things. I, I'm not a big collector, but like I'll be the like my wife jokes. She's like that barrel's killing me inside, and I'm like <laughs> I'll be buried with it, you know, like that kind of thing. Like it's a, it's a running joke because it's just a big dumb barrel. I remember um, I remember when we were at Wonderfest, Jason. We were walking around in there, and I had my eye on it all freaking day long. And they had that orca model right there. Yeah. And I was getting ready to grab that that thing. And what did Jason do? He just rent. I'll take this one. Take it home. Yeah. Would you finish that? I I, I it's totally finished. And I have yeah. I, I do have a set of parts I could make another. So oh cool. We'll talk, we'll talk. All right. Yeah, I was like, yeah. You, model. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want that, Jason. Yeah. <laughs> that was the end of the show, too. Yeah, yeah. That was that was that was fun taking it back. Uh, my friend was yeah. driving. He's like, What are you putting in my car? I'm like, tut, 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 tut. <laughs> <laughs> it needs room to breathe. There's lots of rigging. Yeah, yeah that's funny, man. So uh, well, yeah, uh Star Trek. So I was thinking about this today. I watched Star Trek, the original series with my grandfather, um, in reruns, clearly. Yeah. So I have a, a, a nice, like, positive memory of that. But mm -hmm. next gen, um, so I, somebody had a, a tarot card drawing, like, a, a riff on Deanna Troy, like she was a tarot card, and she has it on her car. And I was like, that's so cool. And then I thought, you know, I really connected and loved the next generation, like, thoroughly. And I think it's because Star Wars had ended, next gen happened, and then yeah. Star Wars picked back up. And it's like, it mm -hmm. filled that, like, num, 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 yeah, you, like boy. middle point. Yeah. Um, so uh, yeah, I mean, there's Firefly. I think the fans ruined Firefly for me. They got a little too like, like, mm -hmm. I don't know, just obnoxious about stuff online. And I'm like, I'm I'm tired. Yeah. It's 13 episodes. Let's let it, let it go. Indiana. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, yeah. And, uh, Dr. Who I like, it got too goofy. And I just, at some point was like, just, nope, I'm done. Um, <laughs> right to me. Uh, which I've got, I've got who fans that are very brokenhearted. They're like, but don't you love the TARDIS? And I was like, don't talk to me about that blue box. You know, like, <laughs> I, I, Blade I, don't, Runner. I just don't care, you know, Blade Runner. <laughs> oh, I love Blade Runner. <laughs> I, I, I don't, I, 
I never read Marvel comics and I don't care about any of the Marvel stuff, which mm -hmm. is yeah. completely weird to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. But I feel like I dodged this insane bullet, like like of money and time, yeah. like from not like needing a Captain America shield on my wall kind of thing. Right. Um, yeah. I'm glad I'm, I'm like, I'm almost <laughs> envious. I'm almost envious because you guys got like 20 movies that are like seamless and amazing. And the yeah. last three Star Wars movies were kind of like, we paid 4 billion and we have no idea what we're doing. You know, like, <laughs> like, you guys, like yeah. it's not, I mean, I guess it's fine. Yeah. No. <laughs> but, um, I mean, I had, I had fun in the, in the theater, but like, I don't rewatch Rise of Skywalker. No. I'm probably not gonna. I actually yeah. don't even really watch the movies that much at all. I'm too busy. I don't either, man. Like I reckon, like I'll pause something on Tatooine to see something like in the way background. I'm like <laughs> yeah. that, that blurry dude. <laughs> like, what is his deal? You know, like, yeah. kind of run out. What about what about Back to the Future, Jason? Love it. Love, Love Back it. to the Future. What's yeah. your favorite? <laughs> it's my favorite Back to the Future. Yeah, the first one. The all first. Right. One. Um, but I. Take I I like the third one, I think, a lot more than other people do. I think that's wow, really okay. fun. I think the third one's fun. And I think even like the goofy crap, like ZZ Top being in it, I'm like, ah, yay. Look yeah. at that. Because it's a time capsule. Yeah. You know? And we just lost one of them today. I know. I know. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. Rusty, I think, the bassist. Yeah. 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 Yeah, one yeah. of them was on Bones. We watched that TV show Bones for a while, and I was like, "Oh, that's a ZZ Top." Yeah, dude. That, yeah, that dude I met at SEMA because he was into cars and stuff. I saw him Ooh. at the Las Vegas yeah, cool. convention one one year at the SEMA. Yeah. Show. He always wears that hat with like the weird little like. Yes, yeah, kind of like a little beanie thing. Yeah, it's like a little coos ball, but like <laughs> uh, kush ball. Yeah. 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 No, the reason why I I ask every single time Michael makes fun of me because I. I say Back to the Future 2 is actually my favorite. And he's like, what? No it's way. That's, it's, yeah. uh, and he likes Temple of Doom out of Raiders of the Lost Ark and Temple of Doom. Uh, Raiders oh. Raiders of the Lost Ark is a perfect movie, and I can't like they I can't, stop I can't use that. it to compare to anything. I yeah. love Temple of Doom. I think yeah. Temple of Doom is dark and weird and cool, yeah. and I love quoting it. My brother and I like love Molaram way more than we should. You know, like, <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, I grew. We grew up. Me and I have this, this uncle that's kind of similar age, and we grew up chasing each other, going Kalima. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, all that. yeah. And like, my, my wife likes to watch Bollywood movies, and that actor is always like the angry dad with just the mustache. Oh, really? Like, What's Molaram? <laughs> oh, that's <funny. laughs> the dance. That's yeah. hilarious. Man. Yeah, he's in a he's in a lot of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Wait. Yeah, so look, let's let's jump into to some of the studio scale because we we do yeah. have you know quite quite a bit, um, and we're we're not gonna go through all of them. But I've made a couple it, things. Yeah, yeah, you got got some. So Jeez. first and foremost, Jason, yeah. pretty much everything that we're gonna see, scratch built, pretty much. I'll let you know if it's now. I mean, there's okay. a fair amount of stuff that was built off of kits, especially okay. in the early days. I I I got to a point at some point. Uh, th this has been addressed before, but my hands are, are crap now. Like I've had five hand surgeries. There's nerve damage. Yeah. I've had terrible tunnels. Awesome. Um, you know, they, they, they shake a little bit. Um, there's loss of power. The thumb doesn't do this. <laughs> this thumb like won't bend the way it used to. So mm -hmm. that scared me enough, like two or three years ago to learn 3d, which is great because now I can like crank out like stuff like this, you know, like That's awesome. up upscale, uh, uh, a mini rig. You know, gun. You know, oh my! There we go, that, Michael. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell, bro? I know, you right? know, Michael you know loves what? those mini rigs. We've had a lot of conversations, bro. These are certain things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I mean, hey, oh, yeah. hey. So breaking it. That's what that was. You know yeah, what? It's, it's so nice. I saw the video, and you're showing because you have it. That's what it turns. Oh my yep. god, dude! Yeah. Oh, I'm building yeah. it. I'm building uh, it for the. I'm, here. It's what a, the it's hell? A, I'm building it for the guy that created it. Like that's his, fa he made all the mini oh, rigs. It's his man. favorite one. And I'm like, how can I not? Because this yeah. is like, you know, he, he, he designed a lot of my childhood. So like, yeah. I'm back, yeah. back. Yeah. You know, right. So I would, I probably would never have picked that to build, but like, and scale it up to one six. The, the whole shtick with this is uh, like, okay, so, Kenner always got reference from ILM and they toyified it, right? They made a toy like, yeah. And I wanted to pick something that was never 
an ILM model and like ILMify it. Mm -hmm. So that's that's, that's the deal with this up detail oh, as, as if it was a filming model. Dude, I didn't know that that's what that's that was. So are you gonna, do you know, are you going to get into those? Or are you just going to make a one off? What do you, what's your plan with that? It's one? just it's it's just a one off. I've also got yeah. the PDT8 in progress and I have no idea where I put that thing somewhere else. I'll, I'll send you pictures. Mm -hmm. um, that's that hey, so, vertical so thing. When we're, when we're breaking it. So there's another mini rig that I've seen online. The one that has the fold down rings. I have one right over here. Yeah, Michael Fittenmeyer, my friend, my friend made a big version of that. Okay, I was wondering. I know I saw that before. He is, hey, so why Gabe's pulling up some of these models? Yeah, Jason. Um, so your thoughts since we're talking about what happened with with your hands, and I remember that at Wonderfest having a conversation about yeah the 3D and going and because that's when it was really starting to really kick a couple of years ago, right? About two and a half years. So. Obviously, there's different kind of 3D printers because, you know, I've been doing a few life-size builds and mm -hmm. I'm spending hundreds and hundreds of hours sanding because of all the sand lines and whatnot. Yeah. You, so not to get, I'm kind of getting off a little bit. So with the the 3D, this, it's our future, am I right, when it comes to the, the studio I models? Oh, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, when it comes to accuracy, because we yeah. were talking about it the other day. Uh, Mike Salzo built me a, a beautiful scratch built, almost five foot long Y wing, which wow. was at Wonder Fest. Yeah. And uh, you remember that one. Mm -hmm. And I hear Sean's building a 3D printed one. And he was telling me that it's going to be a little bit more accurate. But of course, it wasn't a scratch build, you know, right, which, right. And not to mention Mike built it. And that means more to me than anything. But but all that being said, because of the 3D, you're able to get a little bit more accurate on the details. Is that correct? Or yeah, yeah, it doesn't necessarily it, it, it allows me in a I, I work out of my basement in a mm -hmm. house that was built in 1925. So as you can see, it's not very big. Um, and this is like the, the room where all the magic happens. Um, so I don't have room for like a lathe or like a giant vacuum former or whatever. So the 3D mm -hmm. stuff allows me to make a lot of things that uh, I normally wouldn't be able to do just because of time, space constraints. Um, yeah. it's such a powerful tool. So like some people approach the 3D stuff thinking it's a cheat, it's just a button push. Um, yeah. It's not, it's it's another tool that's not quite understood by a lot of people yet. Um, it's incredibly powerful in the right hands and incredibly boring in the wrong hands, uh, like, like anything. But not to cut you off, but a perfect example, the deflector shields on the eight and a half foot Star Destroyer and the, the engine bells that you did yeah. from yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mike was Mike's working on that Star Destroyer, and I, I yeah. a good friend, we talk all the time. Yeah. And I was like, hey, do you need anything made for that? Like, because I know there's some things that you you can totally do yourself and build yourself. You have the skill set, but it's going to be a, like a time sink. You yeah. know, take you like a week to do this. I could. It's like a. It's very f cost effective and fast to do it digitally, and then just hit print twice. You know that that's where 3D is like. Wow, you know, like yeah, he's like yeah, if you can. Um, so like the engine bells and those the yeah, those little like def the faceted deflector things. Yep. I, yeah, I banged those out in like a couple days and yeah. saved him a week or two. So yeah, yeah, that's crazy. And I appreciate all, all the help that you have in on the on the on the build. Thank yeah, you. I'm I'm always gonna help. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah you've proven that. Yeah, yeah, we've we've been we've been keeping track on the show. You know, we'll do updates every once in a while when we have mm -hmm. updates for Michael's eight foot star destroyer. It, it's crazy. <laughs> it's insane. He saw it, it really, in person. I he know. Saw, I saw it in person about two weeks ago, and and yeah, it's in his it's in his garage. Uh, so you come up his driveway. It's you know you come up <laughs> a little bit of an incline, and so as you as you walk up, you you know the star destroyer just sort of makes itself known, and you're like, holy crap. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it's just it it dominates, which it should. You know, it's yeah. If you can wow Jason, it's exciting, and right. I'm so damn giddy. I can't wait till the month of October. So <laughs> I've got a lot of things to pick up that month. That's gonna be fun. Gonna be a fun <laughs> well, month. Well, let's jump. Let's jump into this. Let's. let's well, I'm, and we're gonna kind of just go a little bit in order. So the first one was the ATST mm -hmm. build. Now this one, it's scratch scratch built, pretty much. Yeah, and I would like to, to qualify everything by saying none of this is all me. These are all models built mm -hmm. uh, as a as a group of guys that all bring in very specific skill sets and and 
uh, talents. So nothing's made in a vacuum. So yeah, I made this, but like I didn't ID everything. I didn't do the draft work. I didn't do the machining, um, but it is a scratch build. Yeah, yeah, nice. yeah. There are some things that I've done completely myself, um, but I always like to make sure that somebody knows I, 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 I'm I paranoid that I'm always going to take credit for something I didn't do. So I make I go out of my way to say this was not all me. Yeah, so, we know you're not that way. Yeah, I'm not I'm not that good. <laughs> but <laughs> yes, yeah, this but was this was made uh, to our best ability. This was made uh, how the original was with all of kit parts and on a metal. Wow. Those so parts. so just the legs on the original. These are all kit parts that they used yeah this is it's always super crazy expensive to do something like wow. this yeah that's crazy yeah yeah oh, and that. i actually did change it up a little bit i added a little extra this this was this was built initially for myself and then uh somebody really expressed interest in in wanting it and i was like i can finish it and if you want to buy it when i'm done sure and we talked a little bit about it and i was like i am inclined to like make that chin gun articulate which would make it slightly less accurate and i want to add a little extra detail in some places that were blank and he was just like that's awesome and that's that's where i live like i love to like yeah. flesh stuff out a little bit so the purist will look at it and say like that part's wrong but you know are you able to do this stuff out of your house these bases yeah yeah i have a laser cutter um so i can do the bases yeah. so this is okay. the the final product here and yeah it's beautiful. I mean, it's it's amazing. And again, I, that, that was a good one. Yeah. Yeah. And again, and, and, I, I think yeah, good. No, no, I, I added those two little lights. Um yeah, I that's was cool. To, I was talking to the guy that that uh you know really wanted this, and I was like, I think it would be cool if we had like a couple of just like pinpoint lights kind of thing. There's a light mm -hmm. in the head, like underneath the back of the head. It's um, red, right? It's red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imperial yeah. red. Yeah. Yeah. And like he was really into the, that that idea too, because you know it would really have those. You know what I mean? Right. And then it was really cool to see the Mandalorian. And, Mandalorian. And it had, it had a light. Funny. It was so, they they put the light somewhere else, of course. But it was mm -hmm. like, well, they like, were wrong. They were wrong. <laughs> they were wrong. <laughs> they're, they're, they're fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. I mean, but and again, I think it's one of those things that you know, growing up on on Star Wars and watching this, you. I mean, there's there's no way that anybody would have ever thought that this would have been a kit bash. Like it just, it, it everything is just so perfectly put together that it's. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I'm so far down the rabbit hole. Like I've talked to this with my friends, like we, we kind of have damaged our, our brains a little bit in that. Yeah. Now when we see a model, when we see a design, all we can do is like pick it apart. Like, like we, I, I watched Spaceballs for the first time in forever and, you know, Spaceball one goes by and I immediately yeah. knew how big the model was. Cause I'm picking out bits, you know, there's actually, oh, there's Blade Runner blimp photo etch on it. And I'm like, ah, Blade Runner, you know, like, yeah, <laughs> it's that, that etch. Like, so you can't even movie. enjoy a movie anymore. That's right. I mean, like, yeah, yeah. this is this beliefs a little damaged, but that's, that's life in the big city or, or whatever. Right. Yeah. So All that's right. kind of funny. That's awesome. All right, let's pull up this next one here. And looks like this is the Oh, the baby blockade runner. That the thing baby is baby blockade runner. Yeah. So yeah. again, these are all the parts. Yeah, that's like six million dollars in <laughs> I mean not really, but like <laughs> that was a really grossly expensive model to build. Like just awful. Jeez. Um and uh, a lot of times, like with the ion cannon, like if I get to a point where we've, I've, I personally have gathered all the stuff for it. Um, and if somebody else wants to make it like a friend, I'm like, all right, let's just get all this crap cast because I certainly am never going to go track all this stuff down again, probably. Mm -hmm. And I know that other people will want to build it. So let's just help everybody in one yeah. fell swoop, you right. know? So yeah. Look at that. That's so that, cool. that, that was, and that's such a weird instance of we didn't know that really existed until like the last five or six years, maybe like hmm. we just, it just wasn't on the radar until Grant McCune's, uh, you know, studio was was uh, sort of dispersed or whatever. And that came to light. We were like, what? And then we started looking at photos and then more photos, of course, came out uh, after the fact. But was this ever on the film, though, like th this okay so, so what you're looking at right now is i've idealized it a little bit that head was completely blank on the real model 
Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I fleshed it out <laughs> uh, again. Like my, my thought was if they wanted to make this completely 360, mm -hmm. uh, like I, I can, I constrained myself to only using the donor parts that they had used for the rest of it. So like pretending mm -hmm. I'm in 1976 and I've got all this crap sitting on my bench, like only use that stuff. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, they built it only for that, for a one angle. One shot. Yeah. And it is, it is in the film. It is the first shot. It's that, Okay. First shot of the blockade runner going, doo -doo 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 -doo. and the reason they built it late in the game was because they realized they couldn't pull the Dijkstra flex back far enough. The track wasn't long enough, so they because the model was so big, because mm. you know they they never would have built the princess's ship that big um, if it weren't for the Falcon, you know, pirate ship being repurposed. But um, yeah, it's in the movie. It's crazy that it's in the movie. That's so cool. Yeah. So do you but, think so? It, how big is the the star destroyer that's ch essentially that's chasing it in i mean in like kind this of reference this to this like this thing's like 18 inches long and the Four other feet. In the star destroyer is like three feet like 36 yeah. or something okay. it's yeah. not yeah. it's not that much bigger it's all lenses and, all and the, lenses. the genius of um of richard edland at, at work yeah <laughs> when they had the budget and empire strikes back where they went went back to the drawing board and yeah they're like let's make it big. yeah no nah. Look at that. I mean, just even for, for the size, I mean, look at the detail that's that's in there. For It was a really cool, and it's cool also to build that knowing how the big one looked and, and what they picked and used to sort of convey the same design, but in a smaller scale. That's the stuff I live for. Because I like it's for me, all of it literally is just feeding that little kid in me that's like, I want to work at ILM and blow things up and make mm -hmm. models. So like to this day, if I can like put myself like, you know, in my head in, into a theoretical position where it's like, they might've done this, you know, then I'm like, haha, again, you know, like, let's, let's pretend we're an ILM model maker for a day or, you know, and build it. Yeah. Yeah, like so the bigger, the, the bigger one, Jason, that like, so Mike's building me that the four foot one, is that, yeah. is, is that the studio size or is it a little? No, the studio was six foot. Wow. Yeah. The studio, wow. studio Falcon or, um, Blockade Runner six foot. In fact, I, I think I, I do remember seeing that. I do remember I, seeing. I've that. got one of the engine insert like prototypes that we've been working on. That's the video I watched the other day. Yeah, that, that, that's that's a thing we're like, what? What are you talking about. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. What, what the hell was that ring? For? That was a, that was a real deep deep dive into nerddom. Yeah, very yeah. much. Oh that's God. awesome. So, y'all thinking about doing that or not necessarily? I'm absolutely doing it. I've got boxes and boxes waiting. I just, uh, I need a bigger space. I got to like get a bigger shop to do it. But as soon as I do, yeah. Trust me, you know, I'll do a five foot Falcon. Like I've got everything for a five foot Falcon, just waiting for a, a future day where I'm not like, cause if I built the Falcon down here, it literally, <laughs> literally would not be able to leave the base. I'd have to knock out the foundation or something. It'd be like building a, <laughs> building a boat in my basement or something. Like it just, it's not enough room. <laughs> Get that. Oh. I, you do you just, have a favorite? Do you have a? I mean, there's. I know there's a lot of them, and they they touch your heart in different, different you know sides of this of the realm of you know what like what touches you? Is it like the McQuarrie mm -hmm. stuff, or what? Which stuff do you like the best? The 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 X Wing project that that we finished up as a little gang. Um, like I will always like be so incredibly proud of because we sort of finally nailed a hero model like yeah. like nailed it and that's only because i was given parts you know that from production it's just one of those things you you're never going to get the length and, and details right unless you have a casting in front of you and i and i got one so it's like you know cheating mm -hmm. almost um, I remember y'all were talking about it at Wonderfest. Jason, did you did you send pictures of that one? Do you know? Uh, yeah, it'll, it'll be uh, Chris's X Wing or X Wing Chris's. Got it. The red yeah. four. Yeah, Chris yeah, one? yeah. yeah. My, my, I built that for my friend Chris. It's I'm sort kidding. of a vanity thing. It's actually him inside of it, so it's just kind of cool. Oh so, really? Yeah. Oh. He 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 was like Let's yeah. hits. You know, like so. Yeah, that's like a good like intro to like longer and beefier than it, it's not an inch wider or anything, but it's definitely fatter and like beefier than any other X-Wing. Like so like the Salzo, the ones that I have. Yeah. Like the V. Yeah. I mean, like it's, it's going to be appreciably longer than even the V5, but again, like there's, there's no point of reference past that cockpit, like kit part wise. So you can't, mm -hmm. photos are going to lie to you every time. So you right. don't know 
unless like and it's fine like we held that casting up to you know a, a pyro casting and, and a v5 and we're just like holy crap they're all like different like they look right and like you know the v5 you take a photo it, it's gonna look like an x-wing um but if you're given the opportunity to to make it like you know a little better i take it every time you know so so that was that was fun and that's not accurate to any movie model that was just like a greatest hits of like blast marks and stuff i, I got to have fun with that one which is like my dream i love being a little more creative and, and having the leeway to like you know make something up yeah. even if it's just paint work you know yeah, some of these these images that he created on on these X wings, you can see some of them in Modeler and uh, Kurt Coons' uh, Modeler mm -hmm. Magic. Mm -hmm. Some of these photos of the 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 head sculpts of these one one twenty four scale, correct, Jason? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like their face. It's, it's dead. It's dead likeness. Yeah, I, I still need uh, red one and red six to be made. Porkins. Yeah, uh, the red red six. I'll need the whole the whole body because he's a little, mm -hmm. he's a little puckier. Yeah. So, hey, but, yeah, um, the, I'm real curious on the paint scheme that I have. I know there's very little reference on red six paint scheme right in there, like a couple, only one or two the, pics of that thing that are out there. Yeah. Yeah. Is that, is that in the archives? Is red six? No, no. Six? Red six. Red six was detonated. That thing. Okay. Oh, that's, that's what I thought. One kaboom. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's there's a couple more pictures that exist. They're just not out there. Mm -hmm. I got gotcha. nothing, nothing earth shattering. But okay. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a just, pretty cool paint scheme, though. I like it. It's weird. Yeah. Yeah. It's very unique and cool. Yeah. 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 Cool. That's, so, that is that is in scale. You, that is in scale with the with the X wing. Funny enough, that's one twenty fourth scale. Oh really? <laughs> you know, it's only only that. five feet tall. Yeah. That's hey. Do you know that hey that. Gabe, do you realize how tall that is? Go back. You, you can't, it's kind of hard to tell. In that oh, I, I, I could, it, it, uh, Jason, they did that, that feature. Um, that's right. For that's Star, right. yeah, the Star Wars stories on Jason. And I, I saw that and you could see it there in scale. And I was like, man, that is huge. That's yeah. yeah that, was, that, that is a fool's is. errand, but I had to do it. <laughs> I'm going to have to go rub one out in a minute. But it's good, dude. I mean, all kidding aside, Jason, you, 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 uh, that is that's crazy. really so cool. So, Jason, does that does that sit in your in your living room? Yeah, like, yeah. It, it, sits, it sits next to my, my impromptu home office in the TV room that I've had for like a year and a half. Um, it, it, the very bottom I haven't finished yet um, mm -hmm. because, like, it dominates the room. So it's, mm -hmm. it's like... It almost looks like a movie prop only because now it's got this goofy little wooden like skeleton base that it all sits on the the top three tiers. Um, but yeah, that was I, I will finish the bottom. So does that start out with styrene? It's styrene, and then you yeah yeah. Made... My friend um, Vasily made uh, he routed it out of really thick styrene, so it's uh -huh. not even laser cut. It's like machine routed, and he uh -huh. did the, he did like a small run on the RPF of just the, like the part that ILM made. Yeah. And I, contact, I contacted him like a year later and was like, would you be willing to extend it further down if I sent you illustrator files, like using Joe Johnson's drawing, like preserving the same like look and feel that you did. Like he knows, you know, his cuts and stuff, he even beveled the edges. And he was like, yeah, yeah. So, you know, yeah. I just threw money at it and then it showed up. <laughs> so, yeah, that's crazy. Uh, now, Jason, what are you, what are you pointing there at? I'm, I'm pointing. I'm pointing to a landing gear part that had just been ID'd like that day that we had never figured out. So I plopped it down and was like, you know, like, <laughs> like, and again, I didn't make the ID. Some I can't even remember who did. Yeah. Um, but so you know, one of my friends like figured yeah. it out. Gabe, yeah. if, if you if you go back to that picture just real real quick, just for our viewers and whatnot. So if you look at what he's pointing at, this is what we talk about kit bashing. Mm -hmm. So if you look above that, tell me if I'm wrong. But does that look familiar? That white thing right above his index finger there. Does that mm -hmm. look like an axle? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's little stuff like that. I, yeah. And I notice in, in Gabe's favorite ship, which is what is it? Your favorite ship? <laughs> what? That, Luke, what Luke's playing the with? Yeah, the T sixteen. I noticed like the right? wheel on the back and all that stuff. That's so cool seeing that stuff. Yeah, yeah. I built a T sixteen and and uh, finding the vintage three oh. M tape reel that goes around that that uh, truck wheel rim was yeah. like 
so irritating to try to find. <laughs> oh, I bet. I think I spent like twenty bucks and I bought a a a vintage yeah. like container of what call it's hair tape. I guess like women would tape their hair back like for some oh, reason yeah. or another yeah. from like the seventies, and it's like it was yeah. bright pink. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh. I don't care about it. You know, like I ripped oh. the package open, I pulled all the old tape off, and I, I had this oh, pretty we're, little. We're we're gonna definitely look at that in, in a second, man. I I couldn't wait to to see yeah. that. Yeah, I, I want to build an. I I have enough to build another one of those things, and I kind of want to mm. do another one, but like weather it more like ILM style. Yeah. Oh um, man. Didn't, didn't, Luke, didn't Mark Hamill break it like in the filming? He like it looks like it. It really it does. Stand like breaks it. or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And there, a whole bunch of crap broke off of it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, very so, rapid. so Jason, I, I I saw obviously on the the, the Star Wars thing. So this is operation, like you right. You have a little remote that. Yeah, makes, yeah, makes um, yeah. A fella in Germany did all the programming and and all the hard work to make it to make it work. Yeah, it's pretty nuts. Yeah, it does. It recoils. Like I sent him a YouTube video. I acted it out because he's like, well, "What kind of motion do you want?" And I was like, "You know, it'll go like this, and then it'll kind of go like do this, and then you know, like and then do this, but like rake downwards." And he like copied my like pantomime perfectly. It was really kind of funny. I was like, "Oh, cool." Do you realize uh, how big that thing is, Gabe? I'm freaking out. No, I know I'm like big, buddy. So hey, since we're since we're looking at at you know laser cannons and cannons can you pull up jason we're gonna pull up the can we do that the ion yeah. in a second here show a, your your newest little project yeah yeah i started that in mm, Let me, late 2019 maybe um and, and i i plated the ball and then put it away in february last year and thought eh, i should probably pick it back up recently um i was just busy doing other stuff and you know the mood struck and then it was like almost done. I was like, I was so close. Why didn't I just finish it at the time? And then I went and hung out with some friends a couple of weeks ago. And I've got I've got some photos, but it's it's in a pretty sorry state, and it's really hard to figure out what's going on um, because of the way like the paint has lifted over time. And um, and I was like, I think there's like eight parts we need to identify. And my <laughs> friend stared at it for like half a day, all the photos and the sprues. And he's just like, We've ID'd like seven, and there's like fifteen more we need to do. And I'm like. Uh, you know, like, God. so we're never going to, we're never going to figure it out. And this is literally, I joke, this is one of those instances where I'm going to finish it. I'm going to take pictures and then somebody's going to unearth photos from 79, like a nice survey when it was clean and brand new. And we'll be able to ID every single thing and show me exactly what I did wrong. And then I'll have to remake it. I'm like, I'm ready. I'm emotionally ready for that. <laughs> yeah. I see if I can... It's, it's, a, weird, it's, it's yeah. a weird thing. It is weird. Look at that little, so, little model. Yeah. So you kind of you had to map it out and yeah, kinda... and I and I even looking at it now as I was putting other things down, like the Jason from two years ago messed up in a couple places, and I was like, you idiot. So <laughs> I, you know, it's it's a good faith effort in my opinion. It's not perfect. Oh, it's ever are. Yeah. Every everybody who wants to make one will probably be more than happy about it there'll be there'll be a couple guys that are like he's an idiot i'm like see that, that that's what you got to just keep in your mind that your competition and your or i'm not i don't want to say competition but you have to worry about what maybe 17 to 20 guys out there in the world and i don't it. worry <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean come on, anybody, anybody I, you know when i was younger and more hot-headed maybe i was more like you know into like stating my case or protecting the scene or whatever dumb crap but yeah. there's yeah there's like dozens of us like yeah come on like you know we we all love the same thing we all That's are right. in it for pretty much the same reason and Damn right. like i i really i i'm in a very very uh interesting and i think very i'm very lucky that i'm in this position where i can just make what i want to make yeah. and if somebody else sure. likes it it's icing on the cake kind of thing, you know? Yeah. Yes. No. Yeah. It's kind of like follow the leader. They, they, they should learn, learn because it works. Yeah. But so, so to give our, our viewers an idea, the scale on this, Jason, this is that, about is, a, that is 900 feet long. That is a, wow. um, that is a 12 inch ball, uh, okay. 12 inch acrylic ball. That's plated. I had, um, I had somebody vacuum form styrene over top of it so that it, you know, had did those compound curves and con and conformed to that fact. Yeah. I still have a, I still have a chunk of it. 
you know, so I was working with stuff like this. It's, this one's a little ripply, um, but this is, you know, what I cut, as you can see. Um, I see how you did that. Of, so yeah. that's what that is. And it's just dozens and dozens of, nope, try it again. Nope, try yeah. it again, you know, trying to get it right. I'm excited to have this in my collection and do, like we talked about, build the the snow base, you know, snow snow base. Snow yeah, yeah. I'm excited to see what people do with it. I think it's going to be really neat. Like, yeah, yeah, that'll be really cool. Now, of course it's not, mine's not going to fire or anything, but uh, I, the one I bring to Wonderfest next year will be fully <laughs> animatronic. Like I may be completely gray by then <laughs> like, yeah. in a wheelchair, like beeping, but yes, I will, I will get that done. That's so exciting, man. That's, that's the goal, anyway. Got to take it to the next limit. That's funny. I know, man. We, we try, right? That's right, brother. <laughs> it's, we keep joking. There's like we're running out of crap to do. It's like, really? You're making an ion cannon? You, that's how bad it's gotten? It's like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> there's, only, there's only so many TIE fighters you can make before you're like, let's try something else. Yeah. So, yeah. So, what are, so we did this the escape pod? Yeah. Anytime you see orange, that's like 1500 bucks. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, that's the C Lab. Like, I, I'm one of the weirdos. There's a couple guys like me, but like, uh, the, there it takes technically four C Labs to build one escape pod. Over the years, I collected enough, uh, begging, borrowing, stealing, and just buying. I, I bought C Labs back when they were like 400 or 500 a pop, but they've gone like cuckoo, nutty, crazy yeah. money wise um, lately resin's fine but because i had it i'm like i'm just gonna make it all styrene like this one model it's gonna go all out there's no resin um and uh and then somebody came and swooped it up <laughs> okay, Jason, I, i've got to ask you this I've, I've been wanting to know because I, I i don't think i i even asked mike about it but so when we were at wonderfest and we were all going to dinner that one night you were in the other cars with mike and one of the guys in there at his commission or his project at wonderfest was the escape pod that's quincy yeah 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 he, yeah. he did all the heavy lifting with that thing yeah so he had it on that like turn that yes. little sear thing that was yeah. cool yeah he quincy, had... quincy did all the hard work on the on the escape pod and the that atst he's, okay he's an engineer so, he's brilliant yeah. so i was riding with quincy and quincy told me and he said it's argued that that pod, that back part of that pod is, you know what I'm going to say, right? The Kentucky Fried Chicken Bucket. Is it? Half of the guys who were there at the time say it was a KFC bucket, and the other half of the guys say it was a Sher Sherwin-Williams paint bucket. And the um, Sherwin-Williams guys, the guys who remember it as Sher Sherwin-Williams were like, why would we use a greasy chicken bucket? And the other guys were like, it was a chicken bucket. So I don't know. It was, gotcha. a, it was a paper bucket logically you would think it would be an unused paint bucket yeah. but those guys were kind of like you know yeah. like rebels yeah. i can yeah. Totally yeah. see somebody taking a do. slightly greasy chicken bucket maybe or whatever because <laughs> yeah. yeah. i mean lauren lauren calls it the one week wonder he did it in a week and i think they they uh put expanding foam into the bucket and then pulled the the paper off and then clad it in styrene so mm. If it was a chicken bucket, it kind of wouldn't have mattered because it's not like it's you know still hiding in there. So have you I don't talked know. to Lauren? Have you talked to Lauren lately? Uh, not in the last couple months. Well, not not in the last month or two, probably. So I, I keep in touch with Steve Golly, and I haven't talked to him in about ninety days. And it's not like him to not get back to me. Of course, I'm not blowing his phone up or anything, but he's been kind of like underground especially in the Star Wars world. I, I don't know if you've talked to him. I've, I've never met him. And yeah. um, I, I I always, like, I try not to cold call any of these guys because I'm just, you know, like, who am I? What do they care? Right? Yeah, and, uh, for, sure. for sure. For um, sure. The 99% of the time when I've connected with any of them, it's face-to-face -face at, like, a gathering or it's via one of the other guys. Um, and I think some of them know who I am just because, like, oh, that's that weird guy that makes all this crap, you know, kind of thing. Um, but, uh, I've never, I, I would love to meet Steve Golly. I've just, I've never had the, He's the so nice. And it's crazy. Cause he gave me his contact information because his son was, I'm in the off-road business, you know, and yeah. he knew about me racing monster trucks and all this other stuff. And he was really interested in like, I'm talking to him about the star destroyer and he's talking to me about big tires and wheels. And awesome. but anyway, he was sitting by himself out there at one of the celebrations like six years ago. 
and we've been stayed in touch ever since, you know, That's and cool. I mean, he was going to come down with his wife, but she got ill. So, yeah, all of them have been amazing people. Like some of them are legitimate friends now, which like, yeah. again, it seems it's organic and it seems very natural. But if I ever stop back, you know, step back and think like I'm friends with them, like what? Yeah. Like that's, but that's me thinking in terms of like the little kid, you know, like yeah. we're, they, they love what we do. Yes. Um, they think, you know, it's, it's, they get, a, some of them get a kick out of it. Some of them are like, it was just a job, you know, like, I'm glad you're having fun doing your hobby, whatever. Um, and some of them are like legitimately like excited and, you know, like are into the craft, which is really just cool to see. Um, so yeah. And, but like, I, I never, I never want to bug any of them, you know? Yeah. So that's crazy. Yeah. And, and a lot of them are retired now, so they're off doing their things. Yeah. 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 I love this. I I love the, the way it's you just cool design. It too. Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's funny. Like I don't collect. I'm fine with something leaving the house once I'm done making it because I can make something else. But you know, you look at pictures every once in a while and you're like, oh my baby, you know, like oh. yeah. But, yeah. 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 That is that's a cool one, man. That's yeah. that's the one that so I'm not, you know, I don't have a lot of, you know, all, all the studio skill I have is just, you know, the the master replica stuff and that's about it but now, obviously now michael he's he every time i look at his collection i'm just like man Slip, that's, slippery slope slippery that, slope. Yeah, yeah. exactly yeah um so speaking of of michael's collection michael you you have one of these right i do i do yeah, yeah. My cat. oh the last speaker. Yeah, yeah, Sal, Salzo built that for me, and yeah, the reference, just like that, yeah, I was, it's really good when you have somebody like Salzo, because you'll know that the reference is going to be good, he, he knows the right Mike people. so great, yeah, yeah. he's so, yeah. he's so, hum, he's so humble and off the grid, uh, yeah. you know, like, yes. I, I, I'm so out there, and I'm like, yeah. hey, Mike, do you want to, and he's like, no, and I'm like, all right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm the dumb one that puts his neck out in public, Mike is the smart one that, like, keeps to the keeps to himself you know yeah yeah look at that that's that, that's yeah. awesome but we we on a, on a serious note we need people like you jason that's doing that that's keeping the enthusiasm and you yeah. know this going because without guys like you i mean it's it's it, it would suck yeah. you know what i mean yeah. so well, I mean, the, I'm the historian guy that it's, I'm like the archive guy, right? That we're at the, at the <laughs> archives that just has these, you know, that I'm preserving, but hell dude, you're the one that's taking them to a whole other level, man. If it wasn't for you, these wouldn't even exist. And this, I'm going to tell for the viewers out there, I'm not trying to brag or anything, but damn, that land speeder is probably my top three favorite models that I have. I really like, wanted that awesome. done. That was before I knew 3D and, and my friend Sean Corsini did all the yeah. heavy lifting in Rhino. I was yeah. I was contacted by a guy who was like, hey, um, when the Landspeeder was in Chicago on tour, I think it was the Magic, was it Magic and Myth? No. Yeah, Magic and Myth. Magic and Myth. Yeah. And Myth. yeah. Um, he, I guess he worked for the museum or whatever, but after hours, he like measured the whole thing with, uh, you know, a measuring tape and new CAD and he had done CAD drawings of the full size. And he's like, could you make a model from that? And I was like, could I, you know, like, yes, please. And, and, um, and I was like, what do you want? Like for, you know, he's like, could you give me a casting? And I was like, absolutely. And this was one of those instances where usually what happens is the guy says yes. And then you never get the thing. Mm -hmm. And it was like, I was hell bent on making sure this guy got like the first casting and he was really like stoked that it actually, that I wasn't like, I was true to my word, unlike a lot of like experiences that he had had. So that was, that was gratifying as like a human being, you know, to be able to say like, thank you for giving me measurements here, go make one if you want, you know, like here's a copy. Um, and that cost me like a grand or something, but whatever, you know, like I, I needed to have a land speeder in my life and like, so we've got dimensions on the full size, which is not the studio scale model. You know, that's a different mm -hmm. bird. But I was right. like, what if we took the full size stuff and shrunk it down to one fifth scale, which is the model and just made like a really nice land speeder. And that's what this is. Yeah. Nice. Beautiful. So, 
This is awesome. Yeah, because yeah. I tried to just for giggles put the hot toys in it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've seen it, how it's displayed in the gallery, but I've got actually a premium format. And if you look at the actual, some photos from the, some of the archive, you know, from the film. It is a small little thing. Yeah, but it, but it, it is, it's small because their, their needs, so believe it or not, the premium format, which is quarter scale, almost matches the scale of that speeder. Nice. Yeah, I would think a 1.6 would be too too small of a figure for it. Like it from, yeah, from they, the they're, they're drowned in it. Yeah, for most people, it might look okay because it feels more like a car. But if you look in the movie, they're like, they're crammed in that thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's tiny. Yeah. For giggles, I did put a $6 million man in there. You know? <laughs> nice. There you go. Yeah, that was very cool. Yeah. Yeah, so that, that was that was definitely a labor of love. Um, and little um, handy tip for anybody wanting to build one, that like that weird tan color. So the 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 darker brown color is literally rust oleum primer, like that terracotta primer color or whatever, just mm. out of the can. And that other color, the lighter color, is out of the can Montana gold makeup. It's like a weird pinky tan color. So that's there that, you go. one of the only times I can tell somebody exactly what to paint it. Cause usually somebody asks me what color and I yeah. want to like, just cry because like I, I custom mix all my stuff and then yeah. well, I can never answer to their satisfaction. Cause a lot of guys really yeah. want to just like paint by number this stuff, yeah. which, which I totally get because it's terrifying. Uh, especially if you haven't done this a million times. Uh, and like, I'm always like, I, eh, yeah. sorry, you know, I mix it to my eye and I'm wrong <laughs> probably, but yeah, I had Mike beat the hell out of mine. It's, it, it's used and abused. Yeah. He did a fantastic yeah. Yeah. job. Awesome, yeah. Mike is great. And yeah. yeah. And it's, yeah. and you're right. right. It's, it's rare. It's kind of like the, the R2D2, right? The hypo blue, like everyone, yeah. you know, is, what did they use? Did they actually do the purple with the blue? You know, and yeah, yeah. And I, I like to use Tamiya paints, which is, you know, it's not even enamel, um, but I, I've used them for so many years. I know how they work. I know that the red has like a weird amount of like bluish tinge to it. So it's not going to behave like a true red. So I can mm -hmm. anticipate how everything's going to interact with everybody else. And I just, I'm sticking with that. I mean, one day that if they discontinue it, you'll see me crying on the side of the road. I've got to learn something. Yeah. But, uh, you know. So, yeah. Awesome. So let's, let's jump to some of these, these, um, the concept stuff, because I mean, I think that's, man, you, you don't see a lot of those out there. Yeah. That was, that was totally my, like, emotional reaction to understanding finally that I could make something with 3d technology, like mm -hmm. all those things that were trapped in my head, like for years, I would stare at those star Wars sketchbooks and draw, try to draw like Joe Johnson, all that stuff. And then one day I was like, I think I could build these like a lot more effectively now in 3d. And then, whew, you know, it just took off from there. Is that, is that a resin printer? Are you using a resin printer for that? Yeah. Or? I have a form too. Um, nice. And that's that's what everything gets made on. Wow, yeah. and that and so the resin printer, and it, I'm sure Michael knows this from, for our viewers. There's there's a big difference between the regular ones and then the the resin because you don't get those print lines, right? You kind right. of yeah, yeah. A lot I mean, of you sometimes do. And there's there's a part right mm -hmm. here. I don't know if you can see it in this yeah. webcam situation, oh. but you see all the little dots from like the the um, support. Mm, so the there support. is there is still cleanup, but again. You know, with a little amount of cleanup, you can get, you know, something looking like this. No. Um, you know, this took me like five minutes to to sand, like right. very, uh, you know, easily. No. So, yeah. Damn. Look at that. That's... Yeah, that was fun. Do you still have that? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's I'm weird. Glad, it's I'm, weird. I'm I, just, I made it for myself, and then somebody saw it, and they're like, "Can I? Can I buy that?" And I was like, oh, "Yeah, all right." Um, and it's funny, he wants a bigger one. So we kind of joked that this was a maquette, like as a test for like a, you know, like a studio yeah. size yeah. sized okay. one. So, oh, okay. yeah. And it just, you know, I'll probably make a, a very big version of that sooner than later. So that was actually kind of, kind of fun to make it that size first, because there's things I would do differently mm -hmm. now. And I know that for the bigger one. So that's kind of cool. It's a cool looking model. I know, have, you, have you noticed that what, what's happening a lot of times is 
they're they're robbing in these future whether they're the the cartoon series or whatever they're mm -hmm. robbing a lot of the the mm -hmm. there's a lot of there's a lot yeah. of mining of the old macquarie art and yeah, and yeah. it's like it's such a I, it's almost like dirty pool. I'm like, come on, guys! Like, I immediately love what you're doing because I love those things. Like, yeah. it's it's very clever of them to do that that sort of yeah. short. Yeah. yeah, I just started watching that that Rebels cartoon, and yeah, immediately I started noticing. It's like, there's the Chewbacca. There's the mm -hmm. the concept Chewbacca. He's yeah, right the there. And concept uh, ATSTs in there. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Look at that. I mean, I just love it. The, the yeah. snow speeder is one of my favorite ships just in the star wars universe and, and this is just oh. it's really fun to make something from one drawing that's in a certain perspective because you will very quickly come to the realization that what they drew will not work in three dimensions like lines intersecting correctly and then it's this really great for me it's fun some people might find it horrible and frustrating but then it's like now it's compromise and trying to like keep the spirit of the piece mm -hmm. you know intact but like reconcile it with a three-dimensional form um and that that to me is that's that's a fun way to spend my afternoon yeah. <laughs> and yeah. about what size is this um Jason? i'm gonna be real scientific and say it's about that big so maybe about 12 14 yeah. inches really, maybe 10 let's say 9 to 10 inches okay yeah. Wow. Yeah. My my laser will only go up to 12 by 16, so that base is mm. probably 10 by 10 or 12 by 12. Got it. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Jeez. That's good. That was a fun one. And I like the orange barrels. I did that on the, the concept um, Y-Wing, too. That, that's It's a fun color pop that you don't you see. Do you still have the Y-Wing? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. It, it, stuff kind of goes away, which is fine. I, I, I say, um, you know, I build, I don't, I like to build, I don't like to dust, which is like mm -hmm. my, my stick, but um, it's, it, it does still hurt. It's like, bye, bye, my child. Yeah. This, yeah. this one's beautiful. I love this one. I like it too, Gabe. It's just, yeah. I love the colors, man. Yeah. yeah. I, the the yeah. blue with the orange is something that, about that, it. I mean, he, his, his illustration, my, I made it a little brighter. Um, but, uh, that's in this drawing. Yeah. He'd be so proud to see this stuff. It would have been really cool to meet him. Um, yeah, I didn't yeah. get to, which is a drag. Yeah. Yeah. That's so cool. So let's move on to another concept piece right here, which is the Falcon. Falcon. Yeah. And let's. Yeah. Oh, I love it. every 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 little like centimeter of this model like makes me grin from ear to ear still. <laughs> that 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 was such a that was such an intense labor of love. This is that this this and the the sand crawler were the two like proof of concept that I could like do this with 3D mm -hmm, and sort yeah. of like kick open the doors a little bit. Yeah. Um, I mean like and it's, it's still a lot of hand patterning hand patterning with this one because I, I wasn't really good at 3d in fact my friend john sabian helped a lot with this one and kip hart who sadly has, has passed away he, he did the cockpit and the the radar dish for me um this is where i started really hunkering down with rhino so by the time i was getting to like the docking rings i made those and was very proud to make a cylinder <laughs> you know it was like a truncated cone i did it you know like now i think about it i'm like you know a little Jeez. further along but, and uh, the scale, that scale, is that pretty similar to the scale of like the, the Edison or the Master Replicas? Yeah, that's a 32-inch Falcon. But okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's oh, there's a concrete. Yeah, and that's all kit bashing um, on a on a resin, yes. like on a, on a 3D printed like cone, essentially. Cone, yeah. Yeah. And I would I would do it a little <laughs> differently now. And those are hand sculpted. My yeah. God, I look at that chewy and I'm like, uh, I could do better now. But Bro, all, you did a great job, dude. It's all right. It's it's awesome painted. Yeah. yeah, he looks so worried, which cracks me up. <laughs> <laughs> when, you, when, you, when you see him painted, he's just like he's like, oh god. And, and Han just. So do, you, do you like the sculpt, Jason? Do I like the sculpt? Yeah. Do you like the actual like sculpt? Oh or? yeah, yeah. I'm a I trained as a fine artist and I used to do a lot of sculpting, which is funny because like when somebody okay. asks me you know, like, well, why do you do the models? And I'm, if I'm talking to an artist, I'm like, it's assemblage art. I mean, it's three-dimensional mm. sculpture with a different media, and then they're like, "Cool, got it." Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, and and Jim Shima did the lights for me so they wouldn't burn out, kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. This was a 
this was a definite like had to get it out of my head. This was this was the first instance of like something that was in my head as a kid I always wanted to make. I never thought I could pull it off and then I just started doing it and was like I did it. No. So that was like yeah, I can't yeah. quite articulate how gratifying <laughs> that whole process was. No. So, God, I forgot I put all those lights in there and everything. That's really cool. And I could I could see you so a lot of these kids so just kind of in, in general like the the original way these kits were made is mostly by with with styrene, right? I mean, that's that's yeah, kind of the, yeah. the base or turned acrylic or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and and made. Yeah, yeah. Um, I had to, yeah, yeah. And for the Falcon, all this, all those parts you're seeing, that's not like classic ILM donors. That's like me digging into recent yeah. stuff that I just had. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> look at you. He's like, oh crap. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I I liked. I, I was like, well, there's no need for me to like use up expensive donor parts that I need for something else. when I've got all this other junk hanging around. So it's a good way to like soak up all the extra stuff I had kind of no. thing. Yeah. And I think if I'm not mistaken, that inner turret, that's actually from Shapeways. That might be a 308 bits uh, for a D Agostini that I just repurposed. Got it. Uh, so I think that was, a sh I think I did that if I'm remembering correctly. Yeah. Dang, dang, look at that. That was so fun. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the thing I printed very proud. And that's actually on an FDM printer. One of the, the spools, like the old, old older kind, not, not a resin printer. I didn't have the resin printer when this was made. Mm. So yeah. Crazy. All the little detail. I mean, look at that. That's crazy. Uh, so I was sort of not rushing, but I was really intent to get this done to my satisfaction for Wonderfest, which is that, that model show that we go to every year. And so I I would like, I usually go to bed at 10 and get up at like five because I'm a weirdo now. I used to be a night owl, but at some point my body flipped it. Um, <laughs> so I would work until like 10 or 11. I sort of pushed it a little bit when I was making this at like, especially on the sidewalls and stuff. And I'd come down in the morning and look at it and be like, oh, the night crew did a really good job. Like I didn't quite <laughs> remember doing all of it. And I, I like... <laughs> I, I liken it to almost like automatic writing, like when someone's like talking to the yeah. spirits or whatever. Like I was in a zone clearly late at night. I was like knocking back, you know, like iced tea or, or whatever and, mm -hmm. and just sort of like boop, 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 making stuff. And then I'd come down the next day and look at it and go like, ah, he's, that kid's pretty good. You know, like <laughs> <laughs> it was weird to see stuff that I didn't remember. remember. I was like, I was like, yeah, it did a pretty good job. I mean, look at I that. Love it's I, unbelievable. It's, it's hard unbelievable. to see like once it's all together, but I love that like wheel like for the hatch. Yeah. That I made. Yeah. That that stuff is just so fun to do. That is beautiful, man. Making it up. Yeah. God, I bet it was fun to paint, huh? That was really that was really fun to do. Yeah, because like, you know, when it's a concept piece, you can kind of you have so much more leeway. And like I wanted to keep it a little cleaner. Yeah, like because a lot of Macquarie stuff is like really kind of like clean and sleek. Clean. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I thought I'll modulate some of the the colors and and the rust will be the the, the, the stuff that pops a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I wonder yeah. if Lucas got to ever see this piece. Who knows? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that is. Yeah, that's the phone never <laughs> ran. I never got. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, I mean, but when an ILM or see something like that and they're like, wow, that was, that's really great. Like that I'm, you know, I'm I done. Understand. Pack it up. I'm, I'm good. I can die yeah, now. For sure. Yeah. For sure. All right. So let's, let me, I, okay. I have a few more that I, that I wanted to go over. I think one of the, the coolest ones that we have to talk about, and there, there are a lot of pictures, so I, I will kind of just, jump through them but the macquarie sand crawler that <laughs> thing is <laughs> it's all right yeah. it is yeah. insane that, was, that that was that was the first one that i did with 3d that was all me um i didn't get any didn't get any help from anybody on that except i still didn't have a resin printer and there's like two pieces in there that i had a friend print um 
but that I just sent him the file. I didn't do, I didn't have him draft anything. But yeah, the, the, it's like, it's like three different models in one because like the whole, there's so much detail and some of it you could literally only see if you had like a little dental mirror and a, and a flashlight. It's mm -hmm. just, there, there's not one spot on this model that doesn't have like something going on. And I, some of it's covered or just Jeez. really hard to see. But I was like hell bent on not like taking any shortcuts. Yeah. yeah. So the 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 frame is that what is the frame? That's an FDM frame? print. That so I did have an FDM printer for a while. Um, I got tired of futzing with it. I I want my stuff to work. I mm -hmm. hate to tinker, and I've got a friend who's really into tinkering. So I was like, if I just give you this really expensive crazy printer, and you can fix it, and then you can freaking keep it, and just print me some things every once in a while. And he was just like. Mm -hmm. You know, so it was mutually beneficial because I was like literally like, you know, like my my watch was like your heart rate is up, and I'm like I'm trying to, <laughs> you know, like I gotta get this, I gotta get this out of my life. Like, this yeah, is not, it's, just, uh, it's just not ready for prime time tech. I mean, you know, but did you did, consider having the front door open where it opens? I did, yeah, and then I was just like, but then that's like the model will never be done because then I have to detail everything inside. So I yeah, like, all yeah. it at a certain point. Yeah, that's the rabbit. That it oh, is, and, and it, that is a rare moment of me going like, maybe I should stop. You know, that's the roof in the cock in the you know the cockpit um, or the control area or whatever. And you again, you can't see that very easily. Like I even that. yeah, I made like a little door like so they go down like a little stairwell. Yeah. I love that. And then you got a Jawa in there. I love it. Yeah, By the way, I've, I've, got, I've, I've got two I've Jawas in there. It's got like one controlling it, and then the other one's looking out the window. I bought some more Jawas. Yeah. Oh, look at and that's, that. That's Jeez. the whole other side. So, like, a lot of that gets kind of hidden and covered up. I mean, if you flip it over, you can see it. But, like, when it's sitting on a on a shelf or whatever, I'm like, I really wish people could, like, like see everything that went into it. That was just so fun. What do you think about this? What do you think about a black base like you created yeah. with the inner part only a mirror where you could see up in there? That's a smart idea, yeah, because then you can see all the all the stuff. But, yeah. but still have the black ring around it. Yeah, cool yeah. Stealthy, you know? Yeah, yeah. I dig that. Mm. Yeah. And this this part's funny. There's there's this little uh circular piece with that with a hatch and two dots. That's a C lab part. I always like to put a real C lab part in something like this just to like be kind of a, a weirdo. Like somebody would be like, Why did you use that? I'm like, Yeah, why not? Like, but but unintentionally there's these pipes that are on either side that kind of come out like that yeah those guys i accidentally used those those are on the regular sand crawler and that was like an 80 dollar kit and i had to rebuy it <laughs> so oh, like, oh, like, oh why did i do that that's that's an instance of me messing up and using something rare that i had earmarked for something else yeah so it happens you get excited and you're like oh these yeah, are yeah. and there's a gantry yeah <laughs> It's nuts. I had yeah. it's like a whole engine bay. And there's there's a teddy bear in there. That's that's my fun little See, thing. I didn't know about all this is exciting. I'm yeah. so excited. Yeah, right there's now. a Jawa standing on the gantry with like a, a wrench, and then behind him on the on the ground, like you can kind of see it. Yeah, if you zoom in, there's those two gray tanks. He's right at the end of the gantry. Um I, I don't oh, know I if you see that. Yeah, right there. No, yeah. I don't think I could zoom in with this. Yeah, there's path. there's a shelf with like a bunch of tools on it. And then below it is literally a little stuffed teddy bear. And yes, that's from yeah. a, that's from a wing nut wings world war one kit. And some guy yelled at me online because those are rare now. And I'm like, it's my property. That's, <laughs> right. that's mine. I, I, want. That's mine. I, I thought it would be funny to put a bear in there. Like it was the job. <laughs> yeah. Was yeah. You, you can see it if you know where to look like that's one of those, like it's pretty visible, but you probably would gloss over it if you weren't, you know, looking for him. And those kind of things, I'm like, I love that. I mean, the detail on this is just insane, man. Like, I I can't even begin to understand the you right. Like the process is just so crazy. That is that is a lot of time building things, knowing like what to do next, kind of thing. Like, I don't know. Yeah, like I look at it and I don't know how I did it. <laughs> like, you know, it, it actually looks more. I don't want to say futuristic, but it looks like something that would have actually been used in the film versus the one that was used in the film. If you see them both created, you know, yeah. I do love the original sand crawler. Don't get me wrong. I love that. Yeah. There yeah, you yeah. Go. yeah they, so he, so that, the, there I is a, zoom. Totally hiding it. There is oh, a yeah. zoom. I think I included another one. Um, I was yeah. pretty proud of the, the teddy bear. <laughs> 
And like, where's the teddy bear? I didn't see it. Yeah, I'll, I'll now that I found the zoom. I'll, I'll yeah, go if, back. You, if, you, if you keep going, there's probably another shot of him. Damn. I mean, there's my darkest night iced tea in my face <laughs> barbecue glass. Look at the kid. I mean, look at that. <laughs> it soaked up. A, it soaked up a lot of parts. Yeah. Oh, geez. All right. Let me let me go back to the teddy bear real quick. There you go, Mike. Yeah. You see him? No. Right here. Oh, He's yeah. Laying. That's He's so sitting cool. right there. Yeah, dude. I love that. Those are the little things, Jay. That's awesome. Space bear. And actually, right. okay, so those those gray things that are ridged um, mm -hmm. that are in front of the, the tan piece to the left and right of the, the gantry like balcony. Yeah, those guys. Mm -hmm. Those are from some power plant model. And mm -hmm. I just left them on the sprue. Mm -hmm. Because I liked the whole shape, so those were those are model kit parts that you're supposed to cut off and then put somewhere else. But I was like, I like it as a just an assembly. So yeah, that was that was a fun, you know, sort of repurpose of something. That is so cool. That's so all right, let's let's go to what should we do next? Net new lens or one pass? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, I don't, yeah, I, don't. <laughs> I took like a billion pictures of. The, oh wow! Yeah. Jeez. And it's it's really hard to photograph too. Like that's the weird thing. Like maybe I should have put it on a on a lighter background. Maybe I don't know. You did a great job, I think, photographing it. Look at that. So what's what's the size of this? Like from front to to back? It fits just barely on an IKEA like Del um, Billy that's or cool. Hemnes oh. bookcase. So it's like you know, like that about big sixteen, 16 <laughs> something sixteen like this, inches. Like this, the snow speeder. It's about like that. 20. Yeah, it's about like that. It's, it's big. It's a it's a good size. Um, but yeah, when I built it, I was like, oh, I hope this fits on the bookcase. And like, I put it up there, and I was like, okay, yeah, they've got like uh, this much space. <laughs> cool. Yeah, that totally I mean, it, that thing is just so freaking amazing, man. Yeah, it's pretty fun. I love the 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 like the tractor arm on the side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that was that was a fun. Was it, do they have that in, in the in the drawing, or did you have to just make it there, up? There's like in the drawing, there's like more of a crane um, okay. situation. But I liked the tractor arm just because it seems so much more like brute-ish. Like it would yeah. pick that up mm -hmm. and just dump it in front of that door. You know, that. that it's just all these working parts. It's so it works. You know, I I, I try. There is definitely a conscious attempt. To, to make something look like it has a purpose for um, sure which is like you know the marching order that the you know the art director would, would probably give you like you know make it make it make it look like it does something even if it doesn't mm -hmm. um, so that yeah. well i can go ahead and just if it's okay uh -huh. jason i'm gonna just say it out loud i'm i'm very grateful and blessed to know that this is going to be in my gallery so amazing I, I am just uh, can't even believe it, man. I, I just, I mean, I assure you that it's gonna it's gonna display very nice. So. I'm always happy when when something finds a uh, you know a a loving home. So yeah, wow. for sure, yeah. Wow. It's yeah. so exciting to to actually have one of your personal. It's one thing that because I have like a lot of people your pieces, you know, that from kits or whatever it may be, but this came from your personal, you know. I made it. All by myself. Yeah, man. I'm, it's, and, it's, and it's an honor to have it. I'll, I'll never, I'll never make another one again because I got other fish to fry. <laughs> so, yeah. 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 So, uh, Jason, how long did it take? From yeah. kind of the way too concept. long. Um, you know, like we we all joke about this. Like, if we ever added up the hours, that we'd be paying ourselves three bucks an hour or whatever. Like, this. <laughs> yeah. You don't, don't want to go. Don't you don't ever want to keep track of what it cost or how many hours <laughs> you put into it. Um, it, it took a while. It, it no. took a while. Definitely. Um, but again, labor of love, you know? Yeah, of course. I'm very disappointed with there's no little mini hydraulics bringing that thing down, buddy. Come yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll check myself out. Yeah. Oh man, dude. You, 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 you just, it's so freaking badass. I can't yeah, even tell you. It's a cool. It's a I cool mean, my whole, I want you to know this is kind of sad, but you know, I remember when we, when we put this together, you know, I was on vacation and I was just, in awe about my whole vacation that you know about the sand crawler you know what i mean <laughs> my wife's like hey you want to go out on the boat uh yeah sure whatever i'll get the sand crawler I, I was on vacation too yeah i mean mike handed me the phone yeah he's like you probably want to take this call and i was like what what's happening yeah, yeah. 
Oh, look at the the little sticker there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little... That, that's that's a that's a little. Uh, I got that off of a truck kit. I thought that would be funny because it probably makes really irritatingly wide turns in traffic. So <laughs> that, that is right off of a Fruhoff uh, truck or whatever. <laughs> that is yeah. awesome. Man. Yeah. You'd be surprised, Gabe, what a lot of these the the, the ILMers. Yeah. The little decals that they would put on some of these models, you would you wouldn't even believe it. Actually, what the, some of them say, it's ridiculous. You know, like long nights, you got to entertain yourself somehow. You know. Yeah. There's the what, job. what is life without humor? You know, kind of thing. Yeah. And I don't, it's funny too, like that. I don't use a lot of silver, but I put silver on the 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 exposed metal parts of the little you know mouth mm -hmm. thingy, yeah. um, because I figured. You know, it's probably down to bare metal, and that's like yeah, they yeah. don't see that much in Star Wars models, if at all. But yeah. I thought, you know, I can do it because it's a concept thing. Yeah, so, yeah. And it just gives it more. It, it just, yeah, like more realistic looks, kind of. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like real like, world. There, there's so many schools of thought on how to paint things, and I have sort of transitioned over the years into a state of mind where, like, I don't want to paint like the original models were painted necessarily because I want to make it a little nicer mm -hmm. and it's disingenuous sort of to say nicer because they were built for a, a different purpose. They were built for us, you know, being shot on a set for a film, but the thing I'm mm -hmm. making is going to be scrutinized, you know, like right up close by somebody. So if I can mm -hmm. add more, you know, layers of detail or chips or whatever, I'll do it. So mm -hmm. it's not like realistic, like an armor painter necessarily like still a little further yeah so no and it, i mean and it, it, and it shows and i think that's it takes the heat off because there's some guys who are like really judgmental and, and like if you make it like not exactly like an ilm model you're off the hook for accuracy <laughs> police yeah, yeah i get it yeah hey you can just have fun so oh, you got, it looks like the, the door's like kind of halfway open huh where the jawas are right there yeah 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 it's like half half raised yeah yeah wow. man i can totally see them picking up you know some old scrap metal or whatever it may be and the jawas bringing it in that door or vice versa you know the, yeah. bringing the droids down or whatever man it's just and you can just stare into this model yeah it's so funny like that green primer color pops through in a couple of places i'd forgotten about that i wanted it to look like it you know like it had, had that like mm -hmm. like those military like primer green things mm -hmm. you know that might be painted in the field a different color but you're sort of wearing through that to that mm -hmm. first level um yeah looking at these pictures i haven't like looked at these in a while and i can't remember what i did sometimes with the build i'm like wow that's a lot of crap i put in there like all right I, jason I, what, what do you, what's your favorite out of, when you're on the construction i mean you got your oh. it comes through the concept but do you like to build do you like to, is the painting your favorite? Like we know Salzo, he loves to paint. Yeah. You know? um, my favorite thing is probably the the kit bashing. I thought I turned mm -hmm. that off. Um, the, uh, the, 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 the moment where I have gotten something clean, this isn't quite clean, but when I, when I start like adding in all the details and all the like piping and all the, all yeah. the, the kit parts, that's where I like, I, I live for that. Um, yeah. Bill George calls it frosting. He's like, you get the frost. Yeah. yeah. Like when you get to the frosting phase, it's yeah. And I'm like, totally, like, I totally agree. The painting also, I mean, like it's, it's the different discipline. Um, but uh, like, especially with this mini rig that I'm working on. Yeah. The, the parts I'm doing right now are the, the ones that hurt. That's this, that's the stuff that hurts my hands. Like, so I'm going to have mm. to stand like only for like 45 minutes. And then it's like, I can't do any more standing for the day. And I put it aside and I do something else because if I push it too far, it's, it's going to burn and hurt down my arm. And like, that's fine. It's a, it's, I know this, I can work around it, but then knowing that like that is going to end soon. Cause I'm getting closer to that point. I'm like, Oh, I'm going <laughs> to do the, do the fun part. Um, and I like I kind of don't know exactly what I'm going to do in a couple places um, mm -hmm. because it's one sixth scale and it's so much larger. I've got chunkier um, donor parts that I can use. Like I've got a one, I want to say one eighth scale, one ninth scale uh, Kubel wagon, like a Volkswagen. So um, or is it one sixteenth? It's huge, whatever it is. So I'm like, oh, I can make this uh, mini rig uh, air cooled. You know, like a little bit of a little bit of old VW from the 40s. You know, <laughs> like. 
a little flywheel, little uh, distributor cap action. It'll be cool. That's awesome. Look and that, that that, none of those parts would work in the the this model because they're just too big and recognizable mm -hmm. as like a fan shroud or a distributor <clears throat> cap or a transmission yeah. house or whatever. But like on something that's this big, you know, where it's going to be like huge for a 12 inch figure, it's going to read great. There you go. There's the teddy bear. There's a teddy bear. Hiding under filth. Yeah, it's so cool. Yeah. And the little box of records or whatever. That oh, is. It? Nah, it's an ammo box, I guess. But, you know, let's, let's Dude, say there's he's... seven inch records. I, I definitely agree, Michael. I think this is definitely something that's going to have to have a, a glass, you know, mirrored base. Because that one bottom. Of the, that's one of the best ones I've done, to be honest. It's like, it's a sleeper, too, because it's not an X Wing. You know, it's like kind of. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, I like how you call it a sleeper. That's badass. So yeah. <laughs> I definitely, this is a piece that I want you to be able to walk around it. Yeah. 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 When I, when we had it at Wonderfest, I had it on a turntable. So it, it spun around so everybody could see, you know, all the, and even yeah. like, that was a nod that that last picture was a nod to the original where I inverted that, that center cap. Cause if you look at the original the part has mm -hmm. been like lost or whatever, and they, they put something else on, but it almost looks like something's flipped. So I always try to like echo uh you oh, yeah. know, the, the real stuff nice yeah. but yeah see i mean that and that's those little details i mean it's, <laughs> it's so bad they, they right. do they go a long way honestly you know it just it gives it so much character yeah i mean it's just years of doing this stuff i guess it all it, it literally does come like like subconsciously secondhand or whatever i don't really like analyze it too much i just go and do the thing and then somebody's like you did this because of this and i'm like yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the little grid, the catwalk. Look yeah. at the guts in that damn thing. That's insane. That is can, you add, can you add a little bit more greebly? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Don't tempt me. Yeah. <laughs> and it, it's also it's it's great to like have symmetry, but then like very purposeful asymmetry, which I think um you have to have like a weird cockiness or confidence or in your like ability or vision to do that. Because yeah, I'm gonna ask you to if zoom it's in. too symmetrical, it looks it looks off, and if it's too asymmetrical, it doesn't look like it looks disjointed. Mm -hmm. So there's a there's a balance, I think, sometimes. Yeah. So you know what's so cool is with those little Jawas, the way their eyes they, they look like they're actually lit. You know? Yeah, they really do. They really do. Yeah, and I love that guy's like complaining. He's to the other guy. Yeah. Like, Can you believe that? And he's like, ah, hey, what are you gonna do? He's like, who <laughs> did Yeah, yeah. Are these? Did you? Are these sculpted? Or are these part of something? <laughs> Those or? are Galoob micro machine guys, or whatever. Are they? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, if I did it now, I'd have a, I'd, I'd commission someone and pay him a lot of money to make me a Jawa, and then I would 3D print them. No. Um, but back then, I was just like. I mean, it honestly, it works. Yeah, like, they look great. I'm very happy. Oh, really? Like that was I, I was building the thing before I was thinking I need to put Jawas in here. So like, I I had one from like the '90s, and I went on eBay and had to spend like you know twenty bucks to buy a pack yeah. of them. Yeah. But they were, worked really well. Yeah, and this this messes with people's heads. That that little perforated trapezoid shape on either side. Mm -hmm. That is from a very well-known Star Wars donor. I don't have one handy, um, but the wrong scale. So they used 135th. That's 148th. So someone seeing that might think that that piece that's this big is actually more like that big. Mm -hmm. They're in their head. They know how big that part is, but I used a smaller version of it. And mm -hmm. I, at the time, I was like, I'm going to confuse a friend. And <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. That is awesome. It's just lots of little stuff. like that. Yeah, there's mm -hmm. one of them. A little job. Yeah, his eyes look lit. Yeah, yeah. I, I that's the that's the best part. It's like that. It's it's such a, I, a realistic shit. Like where you could actually look in there and be like, I love it like you're in there. I love like the Fabergé egg, like looking into something and being mm -hmm. rewarded for doing that. And it always bumps me out when I look deeply into like something some that someone has made and like there's nothing there. And I'm like, oh, you know, yeah. like so, like those those three hose reels, like you know, are those hydraulics or those you yeah. know, so washing yeah. your car? Like there's a story there implied. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I just love that that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll put it's kind of like, yeah. like when we did did our 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 uh, show last week and we were talking to to uh vendor stelt and he was there's like the story behind the story and looking into and what's behind that yeah. drawing 
Yeah. It's really cool. Yeah. Right. And I think that that's part of it, right? That's, that's, that's your artistic touch that you're, I yeah. mean, obviously this whole thing is a, is a work of art, but I think it's, you know, you're putting your, your, what it's, you it's appreciate. My, it's that. my signature move. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. 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 I, I yeah that underbelly is that. just insane. Yeah, it's too. bananas. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. I On a real it. serious note, Jason, I need you. And I, I know, you're very well respected, which you absolutely should be. You've earned the right, but I want you to know you, you, to me. you have the talent. No, no, seriously, you, you, you are just super classy and, and just, you're such a great and humble dude. And you're, 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 you're just, that's a fantastic artist, man. And I'm so glad to know you and just, you you're know, what you've much. done. Yeah. Thanks. Our job is to make every one of our guests cry. You know what I mean? Right. So okay. We're going to get right. into your, get into your parents when you're little. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, nah, but Jason, mama? seriously, though. Yeah. Seriously, man. Uh, now, I, I, we only got a, a, a few more that I, I kind of want to go through. We'll, we'll go through them a little bit faster. But this is the yep. my favorite. A T16. Oh, yeah. man. You'd never know, Gabe, looking at it, you know? Yeah. yeah. That that again, like three or four buddies and I banded together, and and I had to build that shape five times. The fifth one was the charm, but like just not getting it right. And you know, you don't want to glue down all those expensive little dumb things and have mm -hmm. it be wrong. So. so so yeah, so that's what I was gonna ask. So are th this is kind of all layered? Is it multiple layers? Yeah, it's all, it's, it's, Colin Cantwell did stuff very strangely, mm -hmm. like compared to how ILM did it. It's just a different way of working, but it was all. Mm -hmm sheet you know mm. irene or acrylic or whatever he used he used a lot yeah. of weird stuff yeah do you ever like, meet him have you met yeah, him yeah he's a, he's a very cool very in like yeah he's so pretty up there in age now he's not getting yeah. out too good I he's know. an intense guy yeah yeah i met him it once. was i i got to show him this sky hopper actually and he was just oh like, that's awesome that was that was cool and his his uh his girlfriend or or you know manager i, I don't know exactly i think it's his daughter, daughter. Um, she, uh, she was like, he, this is cool. He likes this. I was like, oh, awesome. Uh, Look at uh, that. So what it, so this is, a, it looks like a motor, right? It looks like a, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's engine, like right? a, that's like a obnoxiously expensive, uh, 124th or 125th scale, uh, trans star, uh, model kit that never got repopped. Wait, I think it just got re-released. I'll buy mm -hmm. something for like $130 and then round two is like, hey, it's 40 bucks. And I'm like, oh, like I want to kill myself. <laughs> you know, like, oh my God. But that's, yeah. you know, that's that's life. Um, Look at that. Yeah, this was surprisingly deep, like kit list. There was like 30 mm -hmm. things we had to right. like figure out, like yeah. source. Them. And there's that, that 3M tape spool. In the yeah. 70s, they had those three little extra notches on the inside that's you know had to had to have it exactly like that <laughs> that is crazy so it's it's like a specific one from like the 1970s or whatever mm -hmm. like yeah they're different now of course so oh, yeah. look at that <laughs> this is Dave's baby right here i love it well I, I i love this ship because it's it, especially because it's not only a studio skill but it, it's a prop right it's it's an actual it's movie. like the only one yeah, yeah. it's the only one movie that was like that yeah yeah and it's funky and it's uh i mean it's cool because it's a proto concept you know predate yeah what ilm did but it somehow you know got into the film you know like, and it's... and if you think about it like even like when you kind of imagine it in the film it's like dude this is his toy like this is something that right. he actually treasured like he you yeah. know you yeah. playing with it like that's yeah. so cool and this this uh, we were very lucky one of the rare instances where we got photos of how it was built when it was first built before we, you know, really tackled the project. Um, so like those skis on the wings and that little pit it tube, like for refueling or whatever, all that's knocked off by the time the movie's made. Like mm -hmm. that was, this is, this, this is represents, this represents what Colin Cantwell built. And okay. then I don't know if stuff got knocked off or if they purposely plucked it off, but you mm -hmm. know, that was that was cool to see that those details finally you know like yeah because there's always something missing on a model right. you know by the time it gets in front of the camera somebody's knocked something off accidentally or whatever now with this same thing with like the colors did you kind of you just eyeballed it you kind of just use your own mixture there, there may have been an instance where pantone 
uh, color guide was put up against the real thing and information was relayed. Okay. Um, so it, it matches. Nice. Like, yeah. But I mean, like maybe, you know, I'm not saying right. that, but maybe. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want any problems. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We're, we're we, uh, the royal we, pretty confident it's right. Yeah. Nice. The, the joke is always, what color gray is that? And I'm just like, I, uh, you know, I don't know. I have, I have a jar of it that I mixed great. to great. the swap I had. So if I, if when, if when I make another one, I'll have to remix the paint to match that. So I'll, I'll have like my little, I'll, I'll spray it out, let it dry and then recreate it. Look at that. So, crap in a box, man. He's got it right now, Gabe. Crap in a box. I know, right? <laughs> Jeez. And what is the material? Is that, um, on the bottom of the stand, what, what, what materials is that copper? That, or? that stand is brass. It's called a, a lamp spider. It's that's not the right one. The right one we still haven't found. I found one that was close and then I, I laser cut like the, the thing that it sits on and that's on a motorized base that, you know, so it can also spin around. Um, cool. But uh, yeah, the, the real one still hasn't been ID'd. Um, he used a lot of lamp parts. So that whole like mm -hmm. armature, like stock that it's standing on is mm -hmm. just standard lamp stuff, like threads and, and things like that. If you go to Home Depot and there's like kits to repair your mom's old lamp, you know, kind of thing. Like, I think it's sort of outdated now, but you can still get the parts. You'll, you can get like most of this. Um, there's a couple acorn nuts scattered in the model. Like the, those little, like, you know, like nuts. That's that them, yeah. With like the little like fancy dome for decorative purposes. He used really like humble pieces yeah. for a lot of this. Yeah. It's probably one of the only ones that I really care for on all of them, only because I've seen what I've seen now. But it's but, I think it's my favorite, favorite Colin Campbell one. Yeah. Yeah, mine yeah. too. Yeah. Because you can actually see this one in the film, you know, like flying. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe Tidurium shuttle, I, all that stuff came from this, you know. What's crazy is that I never noticed <clears throat> until I saw an article recently um, where it's like, oh, the, the Skyhopper is literally behind Luke. It's like parked there, like a life-size <laughs> one is, right? is in the is in his That's like, not garage. I yeah. never ever noticed. And the only reason you kind of see is you see the little design on there and you're like, Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and the 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 <clears throat> Dur there's a Derwin engine piece representing the 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 three m spool and the that truck wheel on the full size set which is also on the lars family speeder and is the base uh on one of the r1 droids in tatooine like oh. it's just this aircraft part that looked kind yeah. of cool, wormed its way around you know like tunisia and that's oh, that's that's the stuff that people <clears throat> like start backing out of the room slowly when i like talk about it they're like oh he knows a disturbing um, no this is not cool like the so worst okay thing. so jason i don't i haven't seen this one done yet but mm -hmm. you see a little miniature dude standing by it on tattooing when luke and ben are talking about selling of the speeder oh the that, void spider that, yeah not the spider the other one that's just it's a ball with the lenses Oh, you, the Ubrickian speeder is that what it is yeah 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 it's it's, it's like a it's been, a yeah, guy, yeah. a guy just did it. Uh, I think in six scale. It's on my to-do list. Um, I want to do oh, everything. Man. I want to do all the tattooing junk. Um, yeah. But but um, yeah yeah. I uh, somebody, just, that piece. somebody just did it and it looks really cool. Damn, yeah. dude. I, I want to go through this Y wing because this Y wing is also man. Jeez, you did such a good job on these. Oh, that yeah. Look at that. Good times. So tell them what we're seeing here yeah. right now. That is the Steve Gawley blueprint slash Joe Johnson sketchbook TIE fighter. Uh, the red and bluish uh, Y-wing next to it is the sketchbook Y-wing. So like a Joe Johnson concept. Uh, and then the in the front is just a replica of, uh, I think that's TIE killer, gold leader. Um that ILM, you know, initially had done. Mm. So I freaking love that painting on your wall, that trench. Yeah. yeah. Like going into the Death Star. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh. Did you do that on your own or did you buy that? Um, so the guy that saved it from I guess the trash or whatever back in the day, um, before he sold it at auction, um, 
had it scanned and made four high-end Gicle prints. And he had one hanging on his wall. I was at his house hanging out, seeing all this, the treasures, you know, and I, he, he saw me staring at it and he like, was like, does that speak to you? And I was like, yeah, like, and damn. And we had just seen the original painting <laughs> at the top store. And, and he's, he's like, yeah. And he told me that he, he was the one who had it. And before he sold it, he scanned it because he wanted a copy of it. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. And then like an hour or two goes by, you know, we make our tacos, we have our drinks, we're all hanging out and chatting or whatever. And, uh, He's going through his flat file and we're looking at like die lines and all these you know, like insane treasures. And there's that another print. I was like, oh, and he goes, this is the last one. I only made four and he hands it to me. And I'm like, and he, he gave it to me. Oh, and I was, yeah. like, I was like, oh my God. And I'm so grateful. But then I'm like, how do I fly home with this thing? So then mm -hmm. I became that irritating guy with my friends the next day. We got to get a Kinkos. We got to get a tube that's really strong. So fuck me, you know. Like I was like, that's all I cared about, and and I found oh, yeah. a very thick tube. It, it fit. It fit in my carry on. I think I threw away like half my clothes. Or yeah, I know, right? That's yeah, a good yeah. And then I got home and like was like, money is no object. I'm having it framed, and you know, yeah. had, a, had a nice frame made. So I'm very, very touched and grateful that that wow. like that I have those, that. Those are the good so awesome. It's 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 actually hanging in a different place right now. It's hanging behind the the turret, so it's like wow, yeah. you know. Like, uh, you know there you go. Yeah, it's like a nice little Death Star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, that's so cool. Yeah. Oh, just look at that. Man. And that, you know, like I, I got I got some shade for that one because like I paint them how I think they were initially done and they're just brighter and cleaner than you think. But if you look mm -hmm. at old photography and photographs do lie, but mm -hmm. they painted this stuff like white and then they weathered it. And a lot of guys start with tan and they're making it look the way it looks now, mm -hmm. which is after 40 years of being touched up and, and you know, mm -hmm. yellows because of UV and stuff. So I, I don't know. To, in my mind's eye, I wanted it to look like that. So. No. Did Joseph that's, get this one? Huh. That's a good question. Because I know I, he got one. It showed up pretty, got damaged. I, I know I'm afraid or something. And Oh, it, did he buy it from the guy I initially sold it to? Maybe. Maybe. That's how that was. Well, I think that's what it, that's what it was. That wasn't hacked. That's what he told me. Like, that's right. Yeah, I don't, me I, don't weird, even, I don't even ship stuff anymore. Like, yeah, I, yeah, I can't well. hand it off personally. I, I employ like a freight company that mm -hmm. like white gloves it because I'm yeah, just I, I can't I can't go through that heartache. It's tough, yeah. man. It's, it's really it's tough. It's impossible. And like, there's you know, your stuff doesn't get respected by the the no. transport people. They've they're the it's not their. I mean, it is their job, but they're not they're not looking out. Yeah. No. You have to anticipate. Nope. So, Michael, do you already you already have a plan? You have your, oh, your yeah. map. You have your map ready uh, to yeah. go. Yeah, <laughs> we we've all got a schedule, don't we, Jason? Yeah, and and I, I I can't really talk a lot about this, but what we did with the X wing with original parts, let's just say the Y wing and the Tie fighter will be remade with perhaps more production pieces access mm -hmm. than anyone's ever had before. Wow. So I'll be able to talk about it later at some point, probably, but um, the Y wing is going to get the, the fancy schmancy treatment and it's surprisingly wow. different shaped from the, like the, the, the kits that are out there now when you it's hold crazy because how, how these other people work so hard and we know who those and, people and they're are. Gorgeous. I mean, you look and at that, like, the yeah. y -wing, but if you hold like a casting of that up to, you know, a real one, you know, the real ones like, like that and maybe yeah. like wider and you yeah. the weird thing is it's like it's kit parts but yeah. if the kit parts are all glued on like a 16th of an inch differently like things yeah. spread, it's black art and right. again i would have gone to the grave completely happy with you know one of these uh, like yeah. but if i have something land in my lap or an opportunity to make it that much better i'm like all right i'm moving heaven and earth to do that because that's like <laughs> my song you know, like if i can um so yeah, you, you you're cursed bro I, i'm yeah. i'm i'm very i'm happy i wish i had your skill but i'm very glad that i don't have your mindset because i would go fucking nuts <laughs> I, I, there are nights where i like no. i'll wake up in the middle of the night like 
I got to do that thing. And I'm like, just go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For, for the most part, the, 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 the brain crazies aren't there, but like, yeah, sometimes it's a little unnecessarily intense, I guess. But, Sal's been, has been telling me, he's like, man, he's like, Michael, I'll, I'll be up at till three in the morning, like tossing and turning. And I just want to get out of the bed and go and start working on that. Cause he knows now how, cause he was trying to on the placement. And, mm -hmm. Yeah. There was yeah. this stuff on the back that he was finagling. Was killing him. Yeah. We were, we were talking about it. And I offered to like print anything for him if he wanted, but he, he yeah. figured it out like a lot, I think a lot faster than he thought he was going to. I got um, you. He sent me a couple of pictures and I'm like, Whoa, dude, you're there. And he's like, yeah. who knew? So yeah. I don't know where he's referencing some of that stuff because I've got, a, I know I don't have like some of the reference that you guys have for damn sure, but I'm just blessed that he has it. So there, the, the, that thing went out on tour enough that, that people have taken like insanely good photo surveys of it. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, you're, you're in good hands with all that. Yeah, for yeah. sure. For yeah. sure. That's beautiful. Man. I, yeah. I mean, all of these models are just insane. You just do such a great it's, job. I have here. no like, I have no basis of comparison because it's just stuff I make. Like, I look, I do look at something I made like twenty years ago, and I'm like, oh, like horror, you know. But like, when I make it now, it's just like, I don't know, it's, you know, it's this thing. Like, I, I, I would love to be able to step outside of my my brain and look at it and appreciate it in that way. And like, I just, I can't. <laughs> it's weird. Yeah. Yeah, we like uh, I've talked about that with Mike before. Like, we don't we don't appreciate this like as much as we probably should because yeah. we're, so, we're too far yeah. in it, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah, that's where you're cursed, bro. That's absolutely where you're cursed. It's, it's, it's so a pretty good curse to have. <laughs> what's so really cool, no doubt. What's so cool is the, the things that you're building is like stuff that you just can't find anywhere else. I mean, it's yeah, yeah that's, just, that's the motivation. That's yeah, dude, that's what's, you know. Now, and the one thing, Jason, too, like, I mean, you, the stuff that you're doing, obviously, like this, like the, the Macquarie stuff, like what it, it does to fans like us, like Michael, you know what I mean? Because we all have this special relationship with, you know, certain ships and certain things and certain imagery. But the fact that you're taking things off a page, like literally, like something that never existed physically yeah. 3D and making them, I think yeah. that's just, it's it's that, just such a big deal and it's that just, is uh, that that is all born out of wanting to make something that's never been made before um because we now have like the tools and the ability to do it um but uh, and part of it is also like not that we're scraping the bottom of the barrel but like there's stuff i've done and i want to do something new and fresh but mm -hmm. again it speaks to that i want to you know like have the ilm experience if i can and a concept piece that was never made into a model you know like when yeah. somebody was given a drawing and they made the shuttle tidarium you know when bill mm -hmm. made the shuttle you know he was given some artwork and mm -hmm. you know went went with it and mm -hmm. so like if i if i take a piece of concept art and i make a model I don't have you know Joe Johnson guiding me, of course, yeah. but at least I get to make something in the spirit, hopefully, of how they did yeah. it. Like, how do yeah. I problem solve this? And I think it makes me a better builder. Um, again, because like you have to make those weird concessions when lines don't intersect in in the real world, mm -hmm. but you want to keep it Star Warsy, you know? Yeah. But yeah, sure. yeah. There's 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 yeah. You drill down, and there's that one guy that's like, that's the thing I liked, you know, and then like that's. <laughs> That's, I'm so honored and, and like grateful when somebody's just like, you made the thing that I needed as a kid, you know, and like, oh, that's all. Awesome. <laughs> that's how I feel. Like, no, I like, you know, when they talk about them, like, you don't have to explain it. I completely get it because that I made it to, to, to do that for, for myself. Yeah. yeah. 100%. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, Jason, thank you so much for showing all your stuff. Now, I do want to go, you, you do have a website, right? You have a website where you, you post a lot of your yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah. I mean, um, it's you can go to jasoneaton.com or uh, Jason Eaton's. They all they all redirect to jasoneatonstudio.com. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. And here you, you kind of post everything from your restorations, yeah. obviously. Here, yeah, so that's real stuff that I got to fix up. Um, that's stuff that I weird crap that I made. <laughs> that's, fun. that's awesome. Yeah, that the when the cup noodle model kit came out, I was like, I know what I must do. <laughs> I it love like, it. That, that's like that's one of those jokes that cost me like hundred bucks, you know. Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, Michael, is this the the robot you were talking about? Yes. Or no? Yes. Yeah, right, right here. Right? Oh yeah. No. 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 Oh, no. No. Yeah. This. This. The other one. It's actually a spaceship that 
Oh, it's, gotcha. it's just a, it's a, a prop, you know. Yeah, I've got, uh, where is it? Do I have Look, it? He's going to show me one half built. Like, no, 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 no. I'm not making him yet. I um, know. I know. I was just kidding. I'm just, I'm just seeing if I have the parts. It's funny. I have the parts for something and I put it aside so I wouldn't lose it. Now I've lost it. <laughs> Which is like, man, I could stand in his little studio down there, Gabe, for hours, <laughs> yeah. bro. I mean, I just walk you know, off camera like, bye, guys. Um, yeah, so <laughs> you have a big version of him back there, but this is going to be the next little nice. droid that I make. Hold in, on, let me. I've been let making me. him at one twelfth scale, so little. Oh, CZ three. Yeah, CZ three. Like, hello. That's so awesome. This is a, this is an example yeah. of um, my friend Stinson is really really good at taking photographic reference and and drafting like all the nuanced stuff. So I I would prefer to just hire him to. So I hired him out and he did the sculpt for this for me. So I could make like a little CZ three. So he'll be in scale with all those other droids that were on that page. And, so and are, the you, are you keeping those droids? For, are, are Unless you... somebody, I'd like to keep them until Wonderfest because I want to display everybody together. That's and then true. if somebody wants it, then we'll talk after the we'll talk. <laughs> so yeah. so yeah, here's the 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 license. You've seen the the what Tom and them did, which um, was an, initially commissioned by uh, Big Cat Pete. Even. Oh, the CZ three. Yeah, and, uh, don't you have the number one? Or I have yeah, I have number one right there. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. He's such, a, he's such a cool, weird dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The little yeah. CZ three. Yeah, I dig. I dig him. Yeah. I just gotta say, I, I know we're we're wrapping up here, but that Blade Runner blimp, dude. Yeah, that, I was gonna say that, Michael. Look at this, dude. Yeah, that's, I that's, was sending yeah. last night. I was back. I could, wouldn't leave Gabe alone. I kept sending him the <laughs> Adam Savage. I saw the you sold Adam Savage. I know you and him are good friends, and and I, I he was talking about his that you know you did the kit and sent it to him yeah i had a set of parts it not a, not a kit i i was like you don't want this it's, it's just so much work but all right you know kind of thing and of course i knew he'd knock it out of the park he's like one of the only people that i would ever like otherwise i was like nobody's i can never like give these parts to anybody because i would have to hold their hand because yeah. it's so convoluted but i knew we adam adam's on a different level and he like he ran with it i was like yeah you know, I, not a problem. He's like one of the two people I can think of that would be like, yeah. Cool with that that yeah. was that was three years of insanity. Yeah. Wow. Somebody asked me like, how do you describe the blimp? And I was like, when a football and a Christmas tree love each other very much, they make a baby. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a, just but how you put it all together? How oh you my put God. it together? That yeah, that was um, that was a big learning experience that made me realize that you know I could make other very crazy things that was that was a cool that was one of those moments where i'm like mm -hmm. oh all right like i can yeah. do this yeah That's it only awesome. only took three years but <laughs> et ship would be cool too i mm. yes yeah, so there's a guy that makes a a kit of that a resin kit and it's clean it's really nice um yeah, wow. i got one of wow. those and uh, i think voodoo fx is making a light kit for it so i'm just i have i have the casting it's like it's a nice size it's not huge but it's like you know it's good oh man um, i want one of those yeah 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 um yay monsters that's who it is um and then i'll put the lights in it it's you know it's a ball that lights up yeah that's <laughs> badass dude. powerless oh does That'll it be light to paint too, I bet. yeah yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So, so besides besides the website, Jason, um, people could follow you right on like Instagram and stuff. Right? Yeah, and, and I've been doing videos on YouTube that are very, yeah. um, yes. very, very bare bones. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, if you look for, I did a series. I called it "Hunker in the Bunker Palooza," and it was like when we went into like, you know, <laughs> shut down. And I did it every day for mental health reasons until I got to like. 30 or 40 days in, then it was like, I can't keep like, then that was a problem. And so those petered off a little bit. I think I got to a hundred and then I was like, all right, we're done with this. And then I had yeah. a series called waiting to be vaccinated that only lasted six episodes. Cause I got a shot faster than I thought I would. Oh, no. and, now, and now I'm doing much more. Specific. Yeah, there you go. Here's your channel. I'm doing there much you go. More specific stuff. Yeah. So you can see my, my, my COVID hair cuts <laughs> all over time. My wife was giving me mohawks for a while, which was pretty great. I saw oh, the mohawks. She got really good at it. You are losing your mind over there. What's going on? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> there's, a couple of, there's a couple episodes where I'm like, it's, it's near like, like not mental breakdown, but I'm, I'm a little ranty. Yeah. 
One thing I know about you, what me and you have a whole lot in common besides Star Wars and studio models is food, good food. I always take pictures of my food, just like you yeah. do. We're yeah. always like, I'm like, damn, that looks good, dude. I made I made really simple hamburgers tonight, and my wife was like, this is so good. And I'm like, it's just a burger. But, like, yeah, yeah it was pretty good. Like, do you like to cook? Are you the cook? Yeah, I do all the cooking. Yeah. That's awesome. It's weird. I didn't, I didn't understand, like... It took me the longest time, and one day I was like, food is like art supplies, and I can make stuff with them. And then I was like, whoa, because my wife would do cooking. <laughs> she did a lot of cooking, and, and she says she's bad. I think it was great, It was, but I, I like make it way more complicated and, and you know, like fancy because, you, you know, I'm just like, I like to overdo it. So she's like, she's like, we're eating like kings, and I'm like, oh, well, you know, kind of thing. Like I need to get a smoker now, you know, like that kind of crap. I need to make burnt ends. It's only going to take six hours, you know, like that. Kind of crap. <laughs> but, um, That's awesome. But yeah, well, it's, uh, it's fun. We'll we'll, yeah. we'll need to get you down here. I've been trying to get yeah. Mike down here for years because he's got another buddy that lives in Austin, and I was like, man, dude, you know, I need to get you down here. And yeah, where where in Texas are you? We're I'm based right outside of San Antonio. Okay, my no, uh, I'm my in between brother, like San Antonio and Austin. My brother lives in the Woodlands, which is like 30 minutes north of Houston. So, yeah, so you're, you're about, that's about that way. It's about two about two hours and 45 minutes away. Okay, all right. Yeah, yeah I'd love to cook you, you and your wife a, a really good fillet. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you're like, a, oh my god, steak is like 15 bucks a pound now. I'm oh, like, it's expensive, god. dude. I know. I'm, it's not going to stop me, but I'm just like, come on. Like yeah. food, filet and some red potatoes cooked on the grill with some bacon in there. Damn. It's, it's salt Don't get me I love food, bro. I, I mean, it shows. You're going right to make me hungry. It's like bedtime, and I'm like, all right. I'm going to get a better. I could eat. Yeah. yeah, that's right. It's about dinner time for me. It's, oh, there you go. Yeah. That, yeah, yeah. There you go. Well, and and well, you're, you're in California, right? I am. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm in San Diego. San Diego. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so I, I, thanks for, I know we're going a little bit longer than we yeah. thought we were going to go, but it's always fun. We're having fun. But then I know there's some things that you can't talk about that you'll be able to talk to about in the near future. And when you can talk about it, we'd love to have you back on Collection Wars. It'll be fun. Absolutely. Yeah. Love it. Sure. Yeah. Well, cool. thank you again, Jason, for, for sharing for everything and, and kind of giving us a, a tour of, of your work. And it's, it's amazing. I mean, yeah. it's it's awesome. Thank you again for taking some time out to, yeah. to join us. And, really anytime. It's always it's always exciting when somebody wants to talk about this stuff. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Glad to call right. you, friend, Jason. You're a good dude, man. Thanks, man. All right. Okay. Thanks for joining us tonight. All buddy. right, everybody. Thank you for joining us, and we will see you next week. Um, make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys. Have a good night.